Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Edmondson Stadium for another er, crossover matchup in the PSAC between the California Vulcans and the Warriors of East Stroudsburg. Hello, everyone. I'm John Sakaguchi. Joining me, as always, Jonathan Sabe. How are you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. It's pretty cold here today. We're up in the booth because of uh, potential weather uh, incoming here later, but on, but I'm having fun. I'm really excited. I mean, it's the last game of the year. Yeah, senior day A for the Vulcans, including in the two of the captains. Uh, well, actually, all the captains for the Vulcans. Ends including in quarterback Noah Mitchell of company. It's uh, a final day here for as we honor our seniors. But we can take a look at the tail of the tape here in this game. Offense, the California offense, fantastic this year, averaging 30.8 points per game compared to East Strasburg, 24 points against. The Vulcan defense has been great as well, 20.9 points per game, against per game compared to East Strasburg, 22.5 yards per game. California offense averaging 380.9 yards compared to East Strasburg, 312.5. Third down percentage, 46% uh, conversion for the Vulcans compared to the 31 percent for East Strasburg and then time of possession California averaging about uh, 32 20 of uh, time of possession per game compared to East Strasburg's 28 29 so oh East Strasburg won the top toss and will we'll elect to take the, the football first so we'll see the defense and it's for or the Vulcans to start the game yeah, and that defense has been great all season, only giving up 55 yards on the ground. So we take a look at the screen here, the senior day for the Vulcans. 13, or I believe 13 seniors honored here today for the California Vulcans. Yeah, uh, uh, we saw the 14 and seniors right before the game. And about 15, 20 minutes before, before kickoff, we saw them out there, there uh, with their families. Good to see everybody out here er, on a day a little bit dreary outside, if you would call it. Yeah, I mean, there's just there's not many good ways to describe today. It's cold, it's rainy, and it's really weird con uh, considering how nice it has been over the last couple of days. But like you said, this is the f final game, and I mean, this is perfect. Uh, this is football weather right here. Yeah, this is what we we've <laughs> came out, out to watch. Also, oh, yesterday was Veterans Day, so I want to sit take a moment here real quick to say thank you to all the, the men and women that have served overseas and currently a deployed aid and that have served so we just wanted to say a from cu tv to you guys thank you for everything that you've done so oh for the vulcan and anthony beat cut oh out there er, to kick off for the vulcans waiting for for or the uh, returners for or east Stroudsburg to come come out yeah, east Stroudsburg took the field pretty late but does not matter. Vulcan's wearing all black today, and then the East Strasburg will, wear, will be wearing all white. Well, we got a second here er, for station identification. And on the Vulcan Sports Radio Network, er, you're listening in on 91.9 FM, WCAL, California, Pennsylvania, Penn West, California, your home for the Vulcan Sports Radio Network here on Power 92. It's like the Vulcans, uh, the lights have come on already. It's only noon, but it is pretty dark out as the returners back deep now to receive for East Stroudsburg. So, oh, oh the Vulcans are going to go oh, left to right on your radio dot. Oh, on your TV screen, and left to right. Hey, the Vulcans in the all black uniforms, red, white numbers with red outline, and over four, or East Stroudsburg, white jersey. These white pants, and white helmets with black and red stripes and number and lettering. And the kick is away, and here we go for senior day. East Stroudsburg will take it from the five. He's got a few nice little lane. Go, breaks up the sideline. And he's got a few hands to beat. Anthony Beatco, who's going to knock him out the out of bounds right around on the 46-yard line. And they're going to spot him at the 49. It's going to be so, good field position for this Vulcan defense to come out as we take a look at the starters. Joe Brown, Derek Corboy. Gage Hill on that defensive line. Then that linebacking core has been phenomenal with Jack Kalecci, Noah Dillo, Matt Toby, and Gabe Miller. And then the secondary guard uh, manned by Micah Tillman, Dominic Solomon Jr., Kavon Mormon. Now for the starters on offense. And it's led by a quarterback. Excuse me, a quarterback. Uh, Jake Cilio. And he'll take the snap, handoff up the middle. Oh, they got a nice little lane. Bounce to the outside. Near side, crosses the, the 40. He well into Vulcan territory, and that'll be a first down and then some. 
um, for the Warriors. Yeah, great run there. That was by number 19, Tyreek Lewis. And uh, the run intentionally meant to go inside, then uh, found some room on the outside, just bounced out there and picked up a nice chunk of yardage and now well inside of uh, Vulcan territory. So first and 10 now from the Vulcan. And looks like they're going to give him the 36-yard line. Celia O oh, in the, the pistol. Wing on the near side with a lone receiver. And now he sends him in motion. Trips wing on the far now. <coughs> receiver in motion. And handoff up the middle again. And he's not going to go anywhere. Aaron, quarterback keeper. Or er, on the option read, Celio oh, goes up the middle oh, for a gain of about six. Yeah, great run that time and a, and a great awareness by Cirillo. Able to just hold on to that one, pulled it out at the last second and just kept it himself. Picked up a nice chunk of yardage and uh, pulls brings up a second and manageable now for this East Stroudsburg offense. Cirillo now in the gun with the spread formation. And twin receivers near her side. Now the, oh, the rece running back goes in motion for trips. Quick little screen right out, and the Vulcans were ready for it, but it doesn't matter because he goes to the outside, down the sideline, and for another first down on a couple of players with some extracurriculars after the play. So we take a look here at the replay save. And yeah, once again, uh, I'm putting Lewis in motion and then great blocking uh, by those wide receivers from East Stroudsburg, able to, to form a lane on that outside near the sideline for Lewis to run up and able to pick up the first down and move inside the red zone now to see Stroudsburg offense. So they'll, oh, they'll switch running backs now. Oh, for, or the Warriors. Cirillo in the pistol. Doesn't like what he see. He's now shifts into the gun. Trips far side. H fakes the handoff. Quick little screen. Uh, and the Vulcans were ready for it this time, but only a short gain for the Warriors. Gain of about three. Yeah, that time he was able to find Lopez, and Lopez tried to do what Lewis did, just turn it outside, but the Vulcans were able to blow it up outside, forced Lopez to go inside and towards all the Vulcan defenders and able to bring him down for a short game. Second down on an eight now, all four, or East Stroudsburg. Cirillo in the gun, uh, and trips near side. Drops back. Back. He's going to let it fly. First pass of the day. He finds it his receiver in and out of his hands. Incomplete. He, I don't think he was going to bring that one down as he was too far out of the end zone. Oh, and was looking for. Yeah, great throw by Cirillo. Just had plenty of time and able to just launch it down there. Trying to find Roche on that near side. Great coverage by uh, Solomon Jr. that time. Able to just force the pass break up and bring up a third and long now for East Stroudsburg. So third and long now for or the Warriors. Cirillo in the gun. Twin receivers near side. Tight end on the far. <clears throat> Drops back. Here comes the rush of the Vulcan. And it's Cirillo's going to get swallowed up in the backfield. Oh, and he's slammed down to the ground. Oh, and it looks like Derek Corboy. Vulcan defense able to get back there. To Cirillo. Cirillo had some time, but pump faked and then just ran out of time. Jacob Siegel coming in on that corner blitz on the on that far side, able to get to Cirillo and just had a, a little bit of difficulty bringing him down, but finally slammed him down and four and got a big fourth down stop for the Vulcans. Now the kicking unit for East Stroudsburg will make their way onto the field. Devin Bartholomew will be on now to kick for or East Stroudsburg. The Vulcans lining up pretty heavy at the line. Here comes comes the kick is up. And no good. He hooked it right. He hooked it wide right. He hooked it right. Eight. So with 11.39 to go here in the first quarter, score still 0-0. Zero, zero. And we take a look at that replay one more time. Bartholomew had a decent time, good hold, but like you said, it looks like he just pulled that one a little bit too far to the right. And the Vulcan defense after... Uh, having to start from around midfield uh, will get the uh, get off the field with no points on the board for East Stroudsburg as we take a look at the Vulcan offense led by none other than Noah Mitchell and other starters, Aaron McCann, Jaquay Jackson who's having a phenomenal year alongside Cam Terra, Malik Langley, Junior McConaughey, Noel Browse, Jaheim Basham, Bryce Perkins, Matt Charlton, and Fritz Kelly Edmond, a couple of seniors on that Vulcan offense. Vulcan from the 20. So a little, little uh, mix up with the chain gang there. There's first and 10 now for the Vulcans as we look at the starters for there for East Stroudsburg. Erg Mitchell in the gun and twins on the far side. Hands off, off, off faked it. 
It caught by Langley. Langley cutting across the numbers. There's Jukes, another man, and it is brought down across the 40. Down, it looks like the 43. And that's a player that we've seen a lot more towards the end of the season, Malik Langley. As we take a look at the replay, read option by Mitchell, able to just keep that one himself and on that uh, and find Langley over the middle. And Langley able to cut to this near side and able to get out of bounds for a big gain. And this Vulcan offense uh, needs these wide receivers to get going early here today. First and 10 now for the Vulcans from their own 43-yard line. Mitchell in the gun, and twins on the far side, twin tight end on the near. Drops back, fires across the field, finds Jackson for the first down, and then so, um, Jackson down on, on, on the opposing 43 now. Yeah, great job that time by Jackson. Can run any route in the tree, and that time just uh, was able to find that space in between the linebacker and the two uh, secondary members of East Stroudsburg, able to make the catch and get down to the ground very quickly to avoid getting that hit and pick up another first down for the Vulcans. So, oh, first and 10 now from the East Stroudsburg 43 for the Vulcans. Mitchell in the gun, twins on both sides, one of those being a tight end, and, and McConaughey goes in motion. And flag on the play, so we'll find out this. It's going to be a false start against the Vulcans that time. Number 66, Matt Charlton will be the guilty party. So near the Vulcans back five yards. So it'll be first and 15 now from the 48 of the Vulcans. <coughs> Looks like Mitchell's going to opt to change the formation here. Here are twin backs on each side of Mitchell. Lone receiver near side. That's Jackson. Tarrant and Langley on the far side. Mitchell takes a snap. Drops back, looking for a man, and has all day to throw. Check that on to uh, Williams. And Williams getting flipped end over end, and the, the Vulcans not let, taking any of that, so some pushing and shoving. And here comes the laundry as they are trying to separate them. Yeah, Mitchell able to find Williams on the dump dump, but two East Strasburg players were just carrying him and had him flipped completely upside down. Yeah, dumped down. Yeah, that is exactly <laughs> what happened to Dante Williams. He got dumped up down on his head. So this could be a personal foul on, I think, both sides. Yeah, we're waiting to see. So we're waiting for the official Ols to figure this one out. So, <clears throat> so a gain of about out After two. Play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 74 of the offense. And so the, after the play, that's going to go against the Vulcans. Uh, uh, number 74, Bryce Perkins is going to get charged with uh, unnecessary roughness. So let's see what happened here. So we see here Williams flip the one guy and then and going for like gut wrench suplex on the play. Hey, as we see, e. Williams gets flipped over and then here comes Perkins and it says there will be none of that in our house. Yeah, he just, kind of just pushed him in the back there, kind of slapping him after the play. And obviously that is... Not allowed, so the Vulcans starting off first and ten, get pushed back, and now are way back inside of their own half. So now for er, second and a long way to go. Oh, Mitchell on the dump down on the Williams again. This time's got a lane. I mean, Williams cuts back across the field, across the 50, across the 45, across the 40, e before being down on around the 35-yard line. I mean, let's take a look at the replay here, safe. Yeah, screen pass this time for the Vulcans, able to find Williams, and Williams had the convoy in front of him, able to pick up, get past the original line of scrimmage, and a little bit more. And as we see there, Williams gets brought down around the 40-yard line, so a, a second down and 30 will now end up in a third and seven for the Vulcans. So third down and long for the Vulcans now. Williams, the running back. Back is going to flip sides of Mitchell. Twin the receivers on both sides. Mitchell oh, takes a snap. Finds Jackson on the near side. Jackson makes one man miss, makes another one miss. Down the sideline, stiff arm, arm before being knocked out of bounds down in, inside the 25-yard line. And that's an underrated part of Jaquay Jackson's game. It's how elusive he is when after the catch this time on that little out route. Uh, Mitchell able to find him, able to juke one, able to break a tackle off the number, and then stiff arm the third before getting the first down and a lot more. And the Vulcans now find themselves at the 24 of East Stroudsburg looking to get uh, the first points of the game now. First and 10 now all from the East Stroudsburg er, er, 24-yard line. Mitchell trips on the far side. Williams on his right with Jackson on the near side. Mitchell drops back. 
looking for Jackson, and then there's the flag, and I guarantee you this is going to be a defensive pass in here. Yeah, and we saw it immediately. Jackson kind of complaining because it looks like he may have gotten held back. I believe this one is going to go against uh, Jahan Worth, number 30 for East Stroudsburg because it looks like he kind of just got his hands all over the back of Jaquay Jackson and pulled him back before he was able to even attempt to make that catch. Fog starting to roll in here as we await the call. Pass interference, defense, number four. The ball we place at the spot of the foul, automatic first down. It's going to be against number four, actually, Malachi Bowman, as he had his hands all over Jaquay Jackson, so the Vulcans now will move even further inside of East Stroudsburg territory. First and ten so it'll be first and 14. ten now from the 14-yard line of East Stroudsburg. Mitchell in the gun, twins on both sides, Williams to his right. Mitchell will oh, fix the handoff off. Quick little screen right out to Jackson. Flag on the play. Jackson goes across the five in for the end zone for the touchdown on Vulcans. But let's wait the call here. Yeah, that flag was flown very, very early. So I think this one may go against the Vulcans. It seems like they're ready to move back. Five in the backfield. Offense. Five yard penalty. And then the touchdown is going to come off the board. Illegal formation for the Vulcans. There's too many players in the backfield. We take a look at that replay one more time. Read or, uh, a read pass option once again. Mitchell able to find Jackson. And then Jackson had a great lane into the end zone for the Number touchdown. Eight, but after that penalty, it'll come off the board. And the Vulcans now will be first and 15. So now from the 19-yard line of East Stroudsburg, Erg Mitchell all in the gun right now. Oh. Two receivers on the far side, a wing and a Jackson on the near. Hand off to Williams. Williams up the middle. Oh, gets a lane. Jukes one. And breaks and tackle of another er, before being brought down. Cross the line of scrimmage. And it'll be second down on in about eight. Another great run by Williams. And when Williams has been in the, uh, in the game uh, as the year has gone on, it seems like every time he runs the ball, he's so efficient in his runs, always picking up very, very high gains, averages almost six yards a carry on the ground, and for good reason, able to find great spaces, picked up seven that time, and for a first and 15 now a second, and, um, and ad a manageable for the Vulcans now. Second and eight now, all four of the Vulcans from 12. Hand off to Williams again. Williams breaks another tackle, runs into a couple defenders. It was trucking forward, heard, but forward Williams progress is going to stop him inside the tent and right around the eight-yard line. And another time that just shows you how good of a runner he is. Williams able to get the handoff and then able to break off the tackle on the player that was waiting for him the whole time. Uh, Mitchell uh, loves running that uh, read option and decided to hand off to Williams, and the defender on the edge was ready for it the whole time, but Williams still able to break off that tackle and able to pick up positive yardage and get it in a third and four now for the Vulcans. Third and manageable here for the Vulcans with 7.20 to go. Nothing, nothing to score still here in the first quarter. Mitchell, oh, spread formation. Williams to his right. Jackson goes in motion. Takes a snap up. Handoff, looking for or the man. And, and there's another flat egg. Hold your cards. I think this is going to be another pass interference to call against East Stroudsburg. Yeah, I think they're going to get Bowman again on the call because he saw it straight away as Mitchell threw that ball. It looks like a little bit, maybe a little bit of contact uh, on its way through. And so the Vulcans now will find themselves, I believe, first and goal in a decent spot. Defense, number four. The ball will be placed at the two-yard line. Automatic first down. So it'll be first down from on the East Stroudsburg two now. Oh, first and goal for the Vulcan ends with 7.07 to go in the first quarter. First and goal, Vulcan. And we've seen that a lot from that Vulcan's defense is uh, whenever they get into these spots for these third downs that uh, a couple of times we see them not able uh, to convert and able to get off the field. And that seems to have been the struggle here for East Stroudsburg so far is when they get into these third down situations, they, uh, the corner is just unable uh, to keep uh, the receivers guarded for long enough. And that time, of, of another pass interference and the Vulcans uh, well within scoring range now able to just trying to punch it in. First and goal net. Oh, oh, power eye formation for the Vulcans. Man in motion is Jackson. And hand off to what the McCann, and he rumbles forward into the end zone. Touchdown, Vulcans! 
A great play call from the Vulcans. Use Jackson as a distraction because every time you see Jackson on the field, you can't. Uh, you have to keep your eyes on him as we take a look at the replay. Mitchell on that fake the handoff uh, to the fullback and then a great lead block and McCann goes untouched into the end zone for the touchdowns and the Vulcans strike first with 7.02 left to play here in the first quarter. Biko on now for the point after try. Biko Tarrant the holder. There's a snap. Hold is down. On kick is away. A up over the camera. Uh, there and good. Seven nothing to score. Or with seven oh two to go. We'll be back here on CTV, CTV Sports One, the PSAC Network, and ninety one nine FM, the Vulcan Sports Radio Network. If you're buzzed and doing this. To make yourself feel okay to drive. ZWX. Uh, you're not okay to drive. Y G K L V W. Uh, regular you. Welcome back here to Edmonton Stadium on Senior Day. Hey, the Vulcan is taking in the seven nothing lead. Lead four on the Eric McCann touchdown. Biko sent to kick it away, and they're going to kick squib it up the middle, all trying to avoid another return. And that one goes off a couple defenders. There's now oh, East Stroudsburg's got a scramble, oh, and they're going to pick it up and only get a gain of about three down around the 27. I mean, it's more effective than last time where they uh, didn't um, that, where they didn't want the return. As we take a look at the screen one more time for that touchdown replay, had Jackson in motion, and then on that counter on the other side, McCann just able to slip through, able to find that little crease and goes untouched into the end zone for the touchdown. And the Vulcan strike first here today and. And I'm sure that's not going to be the last time we see them get to the end zone. Hopefully. Rain starting to come down here at Edmondson Stadium. Um, as the Vulcans now all, all go back out on defense. Cirillo trips near side, tight end on the far. Pressure coming. And lets it fly. He finds his man and stumbling forward and gets brought down on, on, around, on the, the 34, maybe the 33. Dillo and Loban on the spot. Time post able to make the reception and uh, it seemed a little uncomfortable even as after he was able to make the catch, kind of stumbling his way forward before getting hit by a couple of Vulcan defenders and picked up a, about six on that catch there for the uh, East Stroudsburg. So first, second down for East Stroudsburg here. Cirillo in the pistol, drops back, I can hand off up the middle. Oh, rumbling forward. Or it looks like uh, Lewis once again for the or the Warriors. Yeah, and that's uh, something that you got to keep an eye on all game as we take a look at the replay here. Uh, Cirillo, very good on the ground as well, so always likes to run this read option, hands that one off to Mills, and Mills able to just find the space, pick up the first down before being brought down by a, a swarm of Vulcans. First and 10 now from the 40. E of East Stroudsburg, Cirillo in the gun. And... <coughs> Man in motion, fakes the jet sweep. He's going to drop back, but he's got to hurry because he's got some Vulcans coming after him on the screen play. And hit hard on the near sideline. And was Matt Toby lit in the boomstick? Yeah, on big hit. And it looks like a, a Vulcan down injured because I believe it was Loban who uh, laid the boom that time on post. And I think he hurt himself on the hit as Toby in pursuit and then uh, Loban just laying the boom, but it looks like he was the one that took the worst end of it. It's going to go down hurt. So they're lo looking at looking at him over here, here for a second. It looks like he's able to and get up and make his way off the field. Loban and is going to go to the uh, sideline now and get checked out. Hold, hopefully, 
Definitely nothing too serious. Hey, and if it is nothing too serious, sometimes it's worth it to lay a big hit every once in a while. Those corners, they don't usually have the opportunity to lay the big hits. It's usually the linebackers. And, and I mean, he's coming up uh, against a big guy in post, a big tight end. And he was just able to lay the boom and looks like he was able to make his way off the field. And hopefully everything's all right. Yeah, Cirillo now in the pistol. Twin receivers on the far side wing and a receiver or his post on the near. Shifts things over early the opposite side now. Oh, oh, hands off up the middle. Oh, breaks one tackle. Oh, but he's going to be stopped by a swarm of Vulcans right around on, on the, the line to gain. And it looks like they're going to give it to him. First and 10 from the 50. Yeah, elusive move that time by Lewis. Uh, one of the Vulcans uh, de uh, defenders able to get in the backfield super quickly, but Lewis just did a little bit of a stutter step, able to get himself out of the way before pushing forward and just getting enough for that first down. Lewis now, the running back still for or the Warrior or spread formation and for or East Stroudsburg. Cirillo in the gun. Doesn't like what he see. East calls an audible. Sends Lewis in motion now. Oh, excuse me, that's Mills out there. Or er, looking for the screen play again. And they got it, but the Vulcans are ready for it. And they're going to bring him down on oh, just past the line of scrimmage. Maybe got a couple inches on that one. Yeah, that time they did have Lewis set up as a wide receiver as he came back on that screen. And we've seen this screen play a couple times now from the East Strasburg offense and the Vulcans finally adjusting to it. Able to get back there super quickly as Noah Dillo and able to just uh, pull down Lewis after about a gain of one. Vulcan's going to get some uh, um, substitutions in here. So we see e. Gerald Brown and company coming into the game. Twins near side, two tight ends, a lone running back for or East Stroudsburg. They're going to hand it off the middle, and the Vulcans are going to swarm around him for a gain of about all four. Yeah, great push by the offensive line and, and just allowed Mills to uh, bully himself forward, pick up a couple, and get themselves into a third and, uh, and respectable here for East Stroudsburg. And, We've seen, uh, like we talked about earlier in the game, only converting on 41% of their third downs this year. So this is a big chance for the Vulcans' uh, uh, defense to get them off the field. Third and four for the Warriors here. Twins went on the near side, two tight ends on the far. Cirillo drops back, and he's got to have to roll, hurry up and step up in the pocket, and he's going to run. And, and hit by Matt Toby, and get, it's thrown down to the ground. Oh, oh, but he's going to be short of the sticks. Yeah, great job by Toby, as he as it looked like uh, Cirillo was going to be able to get enough for the first, but Toby held his ground and spun him back, and it looks like he's going to be uh, inches short of that first down marker. And now, uh, and they're, they're going to measure it. Measurement, yeah. It's super close. It's. It's very, very tight, and I mean, if it is a fourth down, it's fourth and maybe an inch or two. Couple, in, fourth and a couple inches on that one, and so we'll wait eight the, the chain gang to come out here or for the measurement. And but a good heads up there by Matt Toby, and that Vulcan's pressure almost got to him again, and it was so, so close. I'm waiting to see the official measurement and it looks like it's just going to be enough for the first down literally by uh, the nose of the football but we've seen that uh, pressure from the vulcans get uh, to cirillo a couple times that time it was jack kelechi on on the left side of cirillo able to get back there unable to bring him down but but forced him up in the pocket and if we see that more from the Vulcans uh, we have to see the other linemen uh, swarm him instead of uh, allowing him these lanes to run up and uh, pick up some yardage so first and ten now from the Vulcan 40 Cirillo in the pistol And off up the middle, Oda Lewis, and he's going to get stopped for about a gain of two. Mills the ball carrier. And I think that's a generous two on that one. As I think he might have been stopped a little bit shorter than that. Yeah, and we've seen uh, when uh, East Schrausler have been in this pistol formation, it kind of seems like, like it's always going to be that read option, and the Vulcan's not uh, 
entirely respecting Cirillo, just swarm, or just uh, allowing him to hand it off every time. And that time Mill was only able to pick up, like you said, a generous two yards on that carry. Mill's going to drop, or excuse me, and he's going to let it fly. Cirillo looking for a man downfield, in and out of his hand. And Pass is incomplete, intended for Cook. And Cook just couldn't bring that one in. Yeah, we take a look at the replay here, and Cirillo had him. Beautiful throw. I think uh, Cook may have looked like he kind of overran it as he was trying to adjust to it midair and just unable to make that adjustment coming uh, like over his shoulder. And uh, it's going to be um, a big blow to, uh, to East Strasburg here. As, I mean, they had they had it. They had Cook, and Cook just couldn't pull it in. So it's third and eight now for East Strasburg. Or 0 for 1 already on third down conversion. Or, or excuse me, 0 and 2 now on third down conversions. Cirillo, oh, spreading it out. Empty. He set uh, in the gun. Drops back, but he's got the hurry. Hit as he throws. Oh, and almost intercepted and by the Vulcans as Matt Toby was bringing the pressure. Or it was almost picked off, off by the Vulcans. As Kevon Mormon was over there, there on the coverage, so it's going to be fourth down on, and decision time comes here, er, John. Do you punt it away? Do you let, let the play clock run down, take the five-yard penalty, and punt it? Or do you try to go for the long field goal? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a little bit too far out of the way for the field goal, so I think uh, East Strasburg made the decision for us, and it looks like they're going to send the offense back out here to maybe try to convert. So trips near side, lone receiver on the far. Cirillo in the gun. Mills goes in motion and flips sides of Cirillo. Oh, he's going to go for it. Has to scramble. Fires. Or finds his man on the near side, but I think he's going to be short of the sticks. I'm going to say it's a catch, and it looks like they're going to give him the first down. A great play call by East Strasburg as we take a look at the replay here. Let's have the receiver on the near side, Cirillo. After uh, going to his left, able to find him in the toe tap catch on the sideline before being pushed out of bounds. So the East Strasburg unable to get the third down, but able to pick up a fourth and eight. So able to keep their drive alive here. So oh, twin, or excuse me, trips wing on the far side. Right, he goes, wing goes in motion, and hand fakes the hand off, and Cooks going to bring it in. And gain of about five, maybe six on the play. Yeah, excuse me, goes to Siggins on the play for East Stroudsburg. And that was, that had to have been a very that was a very accurate Lobin throw. Lobin was all over um, Siggins there, but Second Cirillo down, able to just fire that one in on that RPO, and Siggins able to hold on to it and pick up a, a nice chunk of yardage on first down. Second down. On and, and four, Urs were under a minute to go here in the first quarter. Er, Cirillo drops back, hit, hit and intercepted by the Vulcans, and it's one of the big guys up front. And he's crossed the 40, crossed the 30, crossed the 20, the 10, 5, touchdown, Vulcans! And Gerald Brown with the interception and takes it to the house on senior day, and the Vulcans are going nuts on the sideline. He said it, the big man didn't have wheels. Gerald Brown ran that one all the way back, but there's a flag thrown at the 46. But as we look at that replay here, Cirillo ahead as he thrown Matt Toby able to get into the backfield first and Cirillo able to get to him and Gerald Brown takes it to the house for the touchdown. The touchdown will stand. It was a sideline warning to East Stroudsburg. So the touchdown stands, and we talk about it every week. If you had that on your bingo card, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, you, <laughs> and if you missed that it. one, shame on you for six weeks. <laughs> As we see, take a look at the screen, that the sideline for the Vulcans. I, they've never been happier. I mean, it's been a tough season for them, and this has to have been a, 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 sh a shining of light here if on that, a dreary day. Gerald Brown taking it a, about 60 point. yards to the house for the touchdown. Anthony Beatco on now to hold for the extra point for the Vulcans. Tarrant the holder. Snap is up. Kick is away and good. 14-0 your score with 39.2 seconds to go here in the first quarter. We'll be back on CUTV, CUTV Sports 1, the PSAC Network, and 91.9 FM, the Vulcan Sports Radio Network. If I could be you, and you could be me for just one hour. 
we could find a way to get inside each other's minds. Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk, Walk a, a mile, mile in my, in my shoes. shoes. Well, before you abuse, criticize, and accuse. Walk, Walk a mile in my shoes. Welcome back here, here to Edmondson Stadium after the 77-yard return by Gerald Brown to the house. Folks were waiting on the official scoring of that, and the Vulcans now all extend the lead to 14-0, the third pick six of the season for the Vulcans. Yeah, it did look like an interception initially. Matt Toby on that pressure, able to get to him, and uh, Cirillo was hit as he's thrown, but I'm not sure if it'll go down as an interception I mean, or a fumble recovery. Either I mean, way, it looked Joe like Brown. his arm was coming forward, er, er, but uh, we'll let the, the scorers handle that one. As the, the squib kick his way off the hands of, of one of the return men, and he stumbles forward across the 30, down or on the 32, maybe the 33-yard line. Line of East Stroudsburg, and they're going to give him in the line at the 33. Yeah, take a look at that one more time. Cirillo hit as he's thrown, and then Gerald Brown showing off the wheels. No one on East Stroudsburg anywhere near him. Just uh, pull out the red carpet for Gerald Brown as he uh, gets the runway into the end zone for the touchdown. And it's not something we see a whole lot. Is a big man sending it back, taking it back and. Hey, hey what, if, after someone that played defensive line, we love seeing stuff like that. Uh, those are the things that we, as as the defensive line, we live for, or we love it. It's Cirillo in the pistol, hand fakes the handoff, rolls near side. It's going to have to try to get something going and throws it downfield. And did he get intercepted? Just off his They're fingertips. Gonna, hey, just off the fingertips of Dominic yeah. Solomon Jr. Or looking for his interception, and and uh, once again and. And DSJ a looking for, for another pick. I mean, if he's able to uh, pull that one in, that's a highlight reel in itself. I mean, that would have been a toe tap. That would have been a great catch for a wide receiver, let alone a cornerback falling away towards the sideline, keeping the toes in as he's able to pull that one in. That would have been one heck of a pick from our, <laughs> a picture from our friend Nate, Nate wherever he's at, at taking pictures today. Cirillo, oh, in the pistol. Two tight ends and twins on the near side. And off, off up the middle, thought about keeping it for a second, and it's just going to give it all off to uh, Mills for a gain of about out five. Silva and Corboy on the stop. As Noah Silva and Derek Corboy come up with the stop there. It looks like East Stroudsburg's going to let, to let the clock run out here as we get under five seconds. And so it's going to be third down, down and seven when we come back here after the, the break. So 14 nothing to score at the end of the first quarter er, for er, the Vulcan is here on CUTV, CUTV Sports 1, the PSAC Network, and 91.9 FM, the Vulcan Sports Radio Network. Every day thousands of kids start vaping, and I can't let this happen to my kid. So if you want to talk to your kids, you have to get it trending. No, you're doing it wrong. Can we talk? Yeah, what's up? Visit talkaboutvaping.org for tips on when and how to have the vape talk. Welcome back here to Edmondson Stadium. 14-0, the Vulcans lead it. it have, as we get ready to start or the second quarter, the Vulcans will be going right to left on your radio dial now. Third down on and, and seven and four or East Stroudsburg. And I think now uh, all the pressure is on the special teams for the Vulcans. I mean, the defense got a touchdown, the offense got a touchdown. I think it's on the special teams now to either block a, a block some sort of kick or uh, return a kickoff for a touchdown. Screen pass on the far side, in and out of his hands. And for or, 
or East Stroudsburg. That's going to be fourth down and seven now, so I'd expect we're going to see the punting unit for East Stroudsburg. And now's the perfect time. I mean, uh, for the special teams to get a touchdown, we do have some first quarter stats um, from the game so far. Five first downs for the Vulcan offense compared to East Stroudsburg six, but East Stroudsburg have had plenty of the ball, 10 minutes and 23 seconds uh, time of possession in that first quarter. The Vulcans eight plays for 89 yards compared to East Stroudsburg 21 for 82, so the Vulcans still have, uh, having more yards on 14 less plays as looks like East Stroudsburg going to punt this one away. And they're going to fake it. And there's the throw. Oh, and the Vulcans were ready for it and caught. And East Stroudsburg's going to bring it down. Oh, and that's going to be the e Pembleton. And with the reception there, take a look at the replay here, John. Yeah, fake punt and not something that the Vulcans really expected. Shout out Benny Pembleton, winner of the name game here today for East Stroudsburg. <laughs> As a beautiful throw and Pembleton able to pull that one in. California was kind of ready for it. I mean, uh, they did have a defender go with Pembleton, but uh, a beautiful throw just lofted it. And Pembleton able to pull that one. And now East Stroudsburg will take over inside of Vulcan territory. And another thing, they are going to list that as a fumble on the play that Gerald Brown took, 77 yards to the house, holds for the score. But first and 10 now, East Stroudsburg er, from the Vulcan 48. A Cirillo drops back, lets it fire across the middle of the field, in and out of the hands of his receiver. Er, and he's going to be seeing that one in his sleep as he had all day a with the red carpet into the, the end zone for the touchdown. Second down, Second down and 10 now for er, East Stroudsburg. Yeah, that's another, that's another play this game where East Stroudsburg receivers just can't pull it in. I mean, I think it, it, the weather is kind of rainy, but that time Lopez wide open, great throw by Cirillo, hit him right in the numbers, and Lopez kind of just got a bit, of ahead of, a bit ahead of himself, kind of looked up the field and saw there was no one there and got excited and just forgot that he had to uh, pull that catch in before he could make his way into the end zone and another big, uh, a big blow to this East Stroudsburg offense. Screen pass goes on the far side this time. I'm East Stroudsburg's going to get some good yardage out of that one. Close to the first down. Um, but he's going to be stopped by oh, old, uh, half a yard. Er, er, so it'll be third down and uh, inches to go. Down. Maybe a yard. Looks like they're going to say a third and a yard net here for, for the Warriors to go. And they're going to go, oh, quarterback sneak up the middle. Oh, and Cirillo's going to get Cirillo's that one. And so it'll be down. another first down for East Stroudsburg. Or they got to the line quickly. Yeah, I mean, they, they knew exactly what they wanted to do. Cirillo, big body. It's going to be very hard to stop him, especially when he only needs about half a yard. And just like that, it looks like East Stroudsburg was going to punt this one away to the Vulcans and now find themselves driving inside of Vulcan territory trying to get themselves on the board and uh, close in this game up here. East Stroudsburg er, er, with the momentum of after the fake punt here. 13-25 to go oh, in the half. Man in motion. And hand off, off to ooh, looks like Lewis on the carry. He brought down after a gain of four. Lewis the ball carrier. Yeah, the triple option that time. Had the receiver in motion. Had the option to keep it himself. Had the option to hand it off to the running back. Gave it off to Lewis. And Lewis able to pick up a couple for being brought down. down and and seven. Now the vault, and now East Stroudsburg looking like they want to go a little bit quickly here. Twins on the far on the near side, tight end and a lone receiver on the far. Or Lewis the running back to the Cirillo's right. In the gun now, all Cirillo. Going with the hard count on here, trying to get at the Vulcans offside. Hit as he throws and overshoots the target. And a fly, couple flags on the play. So yeah. we'll see what happened here. I think this one's going to go against the Vulcans. Big hit by Dominic Solomon Jr. on Cirillo in the backfield, but I think they're going to call a pass interference against the Vulcans. It looks like East Stroudsburg sending their offense up and the Vulcan defense moving back. I believe this one's going to go against Jermichael Isom on the coverage in the secondary. Pass interference. Defense, number 15. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic. First yeah, and they are going to flag Isom on that one as we look at the replay here. Here as we see Cirillo hit as he throw, throws an Isom just laying the hit stick there. There on East Stroudsburg's receiver, er, but uh, you got to at least let him get go up for the ball first before you hit, drop the, the hit stick. Learned that the hard way of playing Madden. <laughs> yeah, just lays him out before he even has the chance. I mean, the ball was way overthrown, but even still, I mean, you can't 
I, I lay a hit on a receiver like that, especially if he's kind of defenseless in his route. So East Rouse will now take over first and 10 from the 18. Cerullo's going to keep it himself on the quarterback keeper. Er, runs forward, gets a decent yardage, but, and still going down the field. Well, as the offensive line is pushing forward, er, and that's going to be a first and goal now for East Strasburg. And we can take a look at that replay here. Just had four Vulcans around him, and then the, just the secondary push by that offensive line, able to just keep him going, and it went from a gain of maybe a couple to now find themselves on the five-yard line. So they're going to change up the personnel in here for or the Vulcan. And Gerald Brown back into the game for or California after that 77-yard return earlier. Power eye for or East Stroudsburg. Erg <coughs> Cirillo under center. Hand off to Lewis. Lewis is going to run into his own man. And, and then her, do a herd of Vulcans and is going to get stopped. Right across the line of scrimmage for a gain of one. And these East Strasburg uh, runners, whenever they have the ball, they do a great job at just not uh, letting it go, just trying to keep the wheels turning a little bit. And Lewis able to get that handoff and kept it going, but the Vulcans this time learned their ways and able to bring him down. Second and goal net out from the Vulcan four, 11.30 to go here or in the half. Cirillo oh, under center, fumbled the snap there a little bit. It hands it all off. And the Vulcans are going to stop it and right around the two. Lewis so it's going to be third and goal now oh, for Lewis East Stroudsburg. This will be big for this Vulcan defense. If, they're if they are able to stand tall here, Lewis looks like he was about to make his way into the end zone, but those linebackers for the Vulcans able to stand tough, able to just push him back and bring up a third and two now for, Cal or for East Stroudsburg. Under 11 minutes to go in a half. Cirillo, power eye formation. And lone receiver on the far. Under center, her man in motion. And hand off to Lewis again. Powers forward. Or in the end zone. Touchdown, touchdown on Warriors. Warriors. So as we look at the replay here, they're safe what happened. And said the man in motion. Used it as a distraction as it looked like they, the Vulcans thought maybe it was going left. But handed off to Lewis as he went right and just able to get his way into the end zone, great push by that offensive line, and now able to just close things up here a little bit and awaiting the kick uh, from Bartholomew will make it a one-score game. Glorious to hold it, er, Bartholomew the kicker. Kick is up. Extra point is up. And good. And good. So, oh, with 10.45 to go here in the first half, 14-7 your score, or California leads it. We'll be back here on CUTV, CUTV Sports 1, the PSAC Network, and 91.9 FM, the Vulcan Sports Radio Network. Worried about your friend but don't know how to reach out? You can say how are you will get a fake tattoo. You can ask with an app if it works for you. You can chat with them in VR. It's all good if you think you should check in. Yeah, you should. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. Reach out to a friend about their mental health. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. Learn how you can help at SeizeTheAwkward.org. Welcome back here is East Stroudsburg cuts the lead in half now 14-7 the score or er, Bartholomew to kick it away lets it fly and the Vulcans gonna take it, it and it's gonna go out the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Vulcans will start from the, their own 20. We're gonna take a look at your screen here, the PSAC West final sayings. IUP able to win out after a hectic week last week where that three-way tie between Slippery Rock, IUP, and Gannon. So IUP has the pleasure of playing against Shepard here today for that PSAC title game as we take a look at the East standing. Shepard able to win out undefeated so far on the season, followed by Kostan Millersville, Westchester, East Stroudsburg there sitting in fifth place. And to come on the field, this will be the first time we've seen the Vulcans since seven minutes left in the first quarter. So almost 12 minutes of game time uh, since the Vulcan offense was last out here. So, oh, Mitchell fakes the handoff, drops back. Axe, he's going to step up. 
up and there's going to be a flag on the play as Mitchell is brought down back around the line and a scrimmage. So we'll wait eight to call here. Er. Holding. Offense. Number 75. Number 75. 10-yard penalty. First down. It's going to be holding call against 79 no Browse. Er. As we saw right there, Eric er, the hand in the cookie jar. Or er, holding up a couple of defenders. They actually changed it. it was gonna be, it's going to go against number 57, Fritz Kelly Edmond. So move the Vulcans back. First and 20 now from their own 15. So oh, first and 20, 10.37 to go. The Vulcans lead at 14-7. Mitchell. Oh, <coughs> it's going to start in the pistol. Two running backs next to his left. Twin receivers on the far side, and McConaughey's going to go in motion. And off to McCann, and there's going to be a flag on the play. Hey, McCann's going to get it thrown down, but there's a whistle before or that. At, so this no play. And this one's going to move Cal back even more. That time, number 70, Nashawn Jackson on the false start. So, we I mean, saw this the last time this walking offense was out here. They had possession of the ball first and 10 inside of uh, East Stroudsburg's half, and then got sent back to second it was I remember second and 30 as it was a holding call and then a false or a false start as well so it just kept moving them further and further back and now they started the drive on the 25 yeah. and now they find themselves back on, on the, the 10 <laughs> on the 10 yard line so oh for now 10 oh five to go oh here here in the half Mitchell oh, on company has got a first and a mile to go in the gun Takes a snap, hand off to McCann and fakes it. Throw, oh, finds Jackson. Jackson breaks the tackle down the sideline, line gets the yard to gain and gets the first down and then some. Um, so pick up about oh, 27 there on the play. A from um, Jaquay Jackson. And exactly what the Vulcans did last time when they find themselves in this situation. Quick pass to Jackson, and just so elusive, able to break that tackle and just had all the room up the sideline, able to pick up the first down and a couple extra. And now the Vulcans do set a, a, a sticks and Jaquay Jackson well on his way, already over a thousand yards on the season, well on his way to finishing within the top 10 all time for uh, receiving yards in a single season for California. And there's gonna be another flag on the play. Ball starts, offense, number 79. Five-yard penalty, first down. And another false start penalty against the Vulcans. That time it's going to go against Noel Browse. <laughs> the Vulcans just do not like to start out at the, uh, with 10 yards to go. And these, <laughs> on these drives, they need the extra yardage to push them back to motivate them to get uh, to, for these big plays, I guess. We've seen uh, um, um, end up t having these penalties shoot them in the foot before. In the first quarter, they had three penalties. For 25 yards, and I mean, there's already three, three in the last this, minute. <laughs> three in the last two plays. Mitchell hands it all off to McCann. McCann's going to rumble forward, or gets the, lo the, the original line here. of image, and then the some. It's going to be a second down on, and looks like a uh, seven the at the 38. Down and and good run by McCann there, and We've seen him and Williams so far in this game, and that time McCann it would just p go up that left side and pick up a decent chunk of yardage and pick up another manageable second down for the Vulcans. They're going to mark it second and eight now all for the Vulcans. Mitchell Old gets a signal in the gun and trips on the far side. <coughs> Takes a snap, hand off to McCann. He gets a lane. good block for the Vulcans, and McCann tripped over his own feet and looks like he was going to be off to the races. Well, and he's the sitting there. Here, but that's good for there, and he down. is not too happy about that one as he hops back to his feet, but it's enough for the first down. Yeah, he got excited, very similar to when uh, Lopez for East Shrewsbury dropped that pass when he was wide open. McCann had plenty of room, great blocking, but just got eaten up by the turf monster around, <laughs> around the 45, and unfortunate for McCann because it was on his way to a 20, 30-yard run, but at get, least gets swallowed up, but did get enough yardage for the first down. Under eight minutes to go here in the half. Uh, Falcons lead 14-7. Twins on the far side, McConaughey and Jackson on the near. McCann, the running back. McCann, or excuse me, Mitchell takes a snap out. Looks like Langley on the far side. 
A correction, Cam Tarrant, er, the other senior, er, is going to bring it in. And gain of about six. And they're going to be on the opposing side of the field as they cross over the 50. And this Morgan offense lucky these quick, short throws. And that time, Tarrant able to just find uh, some space in between a couple of defenders, able to make the catch and just go down immediately, avoid taking that big hit while still picking up a good yardage. It looks like they're going to mark it about five on that play. So second and five now for the Vulcans. Mitchell in the gun and same formation and McConaughey as the wing hand off to McCann McCann gets a lane and runs into a couple blockers still going and turning his feet upfield it's gonna be close to the first down but I think it's gonna be short by a couple inches yeah great effort that time by McCann had two defenders on his back uh, trying to pull him back but carried him about a yard or two before finally being brought down and like you said looks like he's gonna be maybe half a yard a yard short of that first down marker. So third and short for the Vulcans. Mitchell is going to spread him out. Oh, goes under center, power I-8. Takes the hand off, the, off to the running, the fullback, and McCanton's going to spin forward. Er, breaks a couple of tackles before he gets brought down on down around the 40 E of East Stroudsburg. Yeah, take a look at that replay. Nasty, disgusting from McCann. Just look at that. Look at, the, look at your screen. Just the spin off of the defender. Fools three people before picking up that first down. I mean, that's, that is a beautiful run that time by Eric McCann. Another first down for the Vulcan. Ends Mitchell and company. He's going to go with two running backs on on each side. Twin receivers on the far side. Jaquay Jackson, the lone receiver on the near. Mitchell takes a snap, drops back. He's going to roll out. Oh, oh, steps up in the pocket. He's got to get rid of it, and he's brought down behind the line of scrimmage. It's down around on the 45 of East Stroudsburg. Yeah, Mitchell just not having a lot of time. Good coverage by the East Stroudsburg secondary, and that time it was number 18, Deshaun McCarthy, able to get back to him and bring him down. It looks like a loss of six on the play, but Mitchell just didn't have enough time when he stepped up, just got chased down from behind, and California now second and long. So 5.19 to go here er, in the half. Falcons lead it at 14-7 still. Trying to get some points on the board. It's been a while since the offense was out here. Mitchell takes a snap. Hand off, fakes the handoff to McCann. And, uh, and looks like, like Mills was the third on the far side. Pass is complete to Willis. Or excuse me, Willis the third. Third on the far sideline, and it's going to be oh, second down and short, or about four. As you look at that replay, uh, just to fake the handoff and able to find Willis on that, uh, on that um, route, just coming back three. towards uh, Mitchell and gets brought down a couple yards short of that first down and uh, makes it manageable now for California to convert this third down. Four and a half to go here in the half. Uh, Vulcans lead it at 14-7. to seven. Can't. And, or excuse me, that's going to be Williams now at running back for the Vulcans. And off to Williams. Williams is going to run for, or for a gain of Williams about three. Carrier. It's going to be short or about all the yard, or maybe less than that. TJ Harris on the stop. Yeah, great, good tackle by TJ Harris for East Strasburg. Able to just uh, get Williams down. Williams so quick and just uh, looked like he had that burst, but great open field tackle by by Harris and now fourth and one the Vulcan offense is going to stay out there so we figure er, the Vulcan ends for running try to go for it on this one and just to keep in mind it looks like the rain starting to pick up a little bit outside and now maybe affect some of the plays going on here in this game Mitchell takes a snap rolls near side all right steps up and he's going to be brought down behind the line of scrimmage it's turnover on down on East Stroudsburg. will take it over from their own 38-yard line. As we take a look at that, it had Jackson in motion and I had to assume that was an intended target, but good coverage by East Stroudsburg once again, and then just a ton of pressure for East Stroudsburg, able to get back there that time. Uh, Jahan Worth as well as Deshaun McCarthy able to just pull Mitchell down in the backfield for another sack, and 3.32 left to play here. In the, sec in the second quarter, and East Stroudsburg have the opportunity now to tie it up going into half. First and 10 now for East Stroudsburg. Mm 
Empty set at four or the Warrior or Cirilla. Oh, looking for the screen route out. Almost intercepted again and by a, a, a Gerald Brown on her. Excuse me. That's Derek Corvo, a, a who's flipping thing out oh, that he didn't get that one. You know, East Strasburg faked the screen with the receivers on the far side and threw the screen on the inside to the running back, but uh, the pass a little bit behind its intended target, and then it just got, went up in the air and just seemed like it was sitting there forever, and Corboy is so mad that he couldn't uh, get, one, get one as well. Empty set again for or, or East Strasburg. is going to let it fly down the sideline and just over the head of, of his receivers. Hers, but he had to hurry that one on as Matt Toby. He and Ism were coming down on home quickly on him. On the yeah, this Vulcan uh, linebacking core is uh, sending a ton of pressure Cirillo's way in that time. It's had Cook on that one-on-one -on, -one on the far side, that matchup that he really wants, and but just left that one a little bit too far ahead of uh, ahead of Cook and just unable to pull it in. Third and long now for East Strasburg. So spread formation now, all four or the Warrior Urs one, one back to his left. Cirillo drops back, has to let it fly, a, and intercepted by Dominic Sullivan Jr. Or he brings it back into, into the territory, or he, he ends down around the 43-yard line, and it's going to be first and 10 for the Vulcans, but hold everything. We got a flag on the play. That flag looks like thrown in the backfield, and Derek Corboy trying to plead his case. Roughing the passer, defense number 40. 15 number yards for 40, they're five. gonna call that one. First down. Against Gabe Miller, we take a look at the replay yeah, once again. Yeah, let's look here to see. Yeah, so there it is, and he had balls out of his hand, and, and but that out one. Ones we see Dominic Solomon Jr. are finally getting an interception, but it's gonna just to have it called back, and I guarantee you he's not too happy about that one. Yeah, just jumped jumped the ball on that one. That's the second time where we've seen uh, the Vulcans almost get a stop. We saw that last week against Gannon where it looks like they were able to get that stop but um, late on in the fourth quarter, but that, uh, roughing the passer call went back to bite him and that ended up uh, ending off the game last week, but this one will just keep East Stroudsburg's drive alive. First and ten from the 50. He, Cirillo oh, gets it blocked and it's intercepted again by the Vulcans and in this time it's Gabe Miller coming away with the ball, with the ball, and the Vulcans will be—he have first and goal, or excuse me, first and ten from the 45. He's making up for. It. They called him for the roughing the pass on the last play. This time, once again, looks like it kind of just slipped out of Cirillo's hands, hits off of the face of Sonogo, and then just ends up into the hands of Miller. And look at him celebrating like that, just pointing for the first down and makes up for it. And the Vulcan offense coming back out here, 2:55 left to play in the pouring rain. <laughs> Uh, here at the end of the first half. Yeah, rain really picking up up here at Adamson Stadium. That oh, uh, first and ten now from the East Stroudsburg 46. Mitchell, spread formation, and fakes the handoff to McCant and a little screen pass to Jaquay Jackson. Jackson's got a lane in in the rumbles forward or right down to the 40. Yeah, they're going to say the ball came out, oh, but they're going to say he was down. On before or it popped out. Old, so it's going to be second down and four. Bring up a second down and four. Two thirty left to go here in the half. Mitchell drops back, firing across the field, in and out the hands of Langley. Pass is incomplete. Center for Langley. It's going to be third and six now for California. Yeah, unfortunate. Great route by Langley, and Langley had had it had enough yardage for the first down, but. I mean, the, it's starting to rain. The rain's starting to pick up a little bit slippery, and Langley just unable to hold on to it. And in California now, third and a uh, third and four, and they want to be able to get some points here at the end of this half. They do get the ball to start the second half, so it would be nice to just uh, extend their lead going into halftime here. So, oh, oh, now, oh, oh, third and six trips on the far side. Williams, the running, or excuse me, the McCann, the running back. Jackson, the lone receiver on the near side in 101. And Mitchell takes a snap. Here comes the pressure from East Stroudsburg. Jackson and down the sideline. And controlling for the catch and cannot make it. It in and out of his hands as Jackson was looking in, in for another touchdown and another long reception. Yeah, great coverage that time by number 28, CJ LeVaron. But the Vulcans catch a break. It's a hands to the face 
Automatic. We'll take a look at the replay. Jackson had him, but just in and out of his hands. But California catch a break as illegal hands to the face by East Stroudsburg will keep their drive alive. And, and they still have the ball with 2.21 left to play here in the second quarter. So the Vulcans will get another or set at a downs here, here after the, or the penalty. Be first and 10 now from the East Stroudsburg 25. Ten from the 25. So twin and receivers on the far side. McConaughey and Jackson on the near. McCann the running back. Back to Mitchell's right. Hand off to McCann. He gets a lane and runs forward. Er, breaks one tackle. Old Dragon another. Er, gets a gain of about oh, two on the play. Yeah, that was one of the more impressive two-yard runs we've seen today. McCann gets hit right around the line of scrimmage and it was just held by a couple of people before powering his way forward for some positive yardage and now Vulcans just under two minutes here left to play in the second quarter. His offense still driving and still looking to get some points on the board here. Second and eight now. Oh, Mitchell fakes the handle off. Hit as he throws and he's going to throw that one on away as he was looking for Jackson. As one of the, and the Warriors was coming, screaming off the edge, Mitchell got rid of that one quickly with a minute 41 to go. Yeah, smart play by Mitchell. Tried to do that read option. Had a, had a Felizer for East Strasburg coming in off that edge and had Jackson open, but just uh, too much under pressure. Hit as he's thrown and leaves that one just a bit short uh, for Jackson to pull in. Third and eight now for the Vulcan ends as the rain continues to fall here at Edmondson Stadium. Um, pretty steadily. Trips on the far side. The lone receiver, Jackson on the near. McCann the running back. Third, third down on an eight. Mitchell drops back, fires, finds Jackson on the near side, and it's going to be good for at least the first down as he drags the one to the defender and steps out of bounds. He gets the first down on and then some. Gain of about 10. And yeah, once again, low snap, Mitchell able to deal with it, and then had Jackson on that curl route once again, able to come back. And has the defender on his back, but still pulls him um, forward a couple yards before being pushed out of bounds and still gets enough for that first down. So for first and 10 now from the Warrior 13-yard line, and gain to hit is the three. Trips bunch on the far side, Mitchell in the gun, Jackson the lone receiver. McCann, the running back. Mitchell is going to fire it into the end zone. Oh, looking for er, er Jackson and incomplete. incomplete. Jackson Jackson. looking for the flag because he thought he was getting held up there. Yeah, I, I, I think I kind of tend to agree <coughs> with Jaquay Jackson right there. Mitchell was going for that fade in the end zone. It looks like, looked like Jackson just kind of got pulled back just a little bit and just enough to throw him off. There was no handbrake on the coverage on this near side. And... No call was uh, no call was made. It'll bring up second and ten now for the Vulcans with 131 left to play here in the second quarter. So the uh, Vulcans going to get a little power heavy on this one. And as Jackson and Tarrant, the two receivers, there's McConaughey and McCann, they're the setbacks. Mitchell under center. Hands it off to McCann. McCann's got a lane, spins around on one, breaks another tackle, rumbling forward into the end zone. Touchdown, Vulcans! That's McCann's second of the day. Yeah, we see McCann getting pumped up, and I'm not surprised why. I mean, another great run. Just great blocking by this uh, Cal offensive line. Great chip out blocked by McConaughey there. And then McCann again with a spin and just spins the two defenders off him, drags a couple more into the end zone as he makes his way in there for the touchdown and awaiting Biko's, uh, Biko's kick will make it another two-score game. Beatco in to attempt the extra point. Tarrant the holder, or Beatco on, on the kick. There's a snap. Kick is away a, and good. So oh, with a minute 24 to go, oh, the Vulcans extend that lead back to 14. And it's 21 7. And here on CUTV, CUTV Sports 1, the PSAC Network, or 91.9 FM, the Vulcan Sports Radio Network. If you're buzzed and doing this, to make yourself feel okay to drive, 
ZWX. You're not okay to drive. Y G K L V W. Regular you. Welcome back here. Minute 24 to go in the first half after or the second touchdown owned from Eric Rican on 13 yards out. Vico kicks it away. It's going to put it on the ground. On, on squibs it up the middle. Oh, and here comes East Stroudsburg. Got a lane. Tripped up. Up. Uh, it looks like, like Langley on the. Or no, that's going to go oh, as Harper on the, the coverage. As we look back at the replay here, or we see McCann and stumbling forward. Or spin move, move and then and drags a couple defenders up the middle or into the end zone for the touchdown on um, before he gets we'll knocked down right on the right on the, on the uh, California lettering. Yeah, I mean, he, uh, Eric McCann today, we've seen a couple of them just putting this East Strasburg defense in the spin cycle. Just uh, just keep spinning and spinning. Uh, got the first down a couple um, a couple minutes ago after that beautiful spin on the third down run in that time, just spun three defenders off and to get into the end zone. And run play up the middle here for East Stroudsburg. Gain of about out three here, four. Or so it'll be second and about six for or nine, three, the <coughs> nine, one, two, six, nine, three, nine, one. And East Stroudsburg taking their time. It's still it's just under a minute now, but still have all three of their timeouts. So the Warriors trying to get some points before the half. So oh, is going to dump it off quickly. He flipped end over end, and Kevon Mormon with the stop there. There is he stops the receiver there for East Stroudsburg. Yeah, Cirillo, to take a look at the replay here. Read option just gets hit as he's thrown by Toby. Able to find his target in Roche, but Mormon saw what happened earlier in the game when Williams got flipped up and over and decided to uh, do it to Roche that time. <laughs> I always say payback is a dish served cold, and I definitely served it on that cold turf. Irf as we're under 30 seconds here, here in the half. And it looks like East Strasburg just uh, fine with just letting it run. They do need to get a playoff before the end of the half, though. Three seconds left on the play clock, five on the on the game clock, off, and it's going to hand it off up the middle. Oh, oh, and finally brought Blue down. That's going to be the end of the half. Uh, the Vulcans lead at 21 to 7 here. Here, we'll be back, back with halftime stats uh, here on COTV, COTV Sports 1, the BSAC Network, and 91.9 FM, the Vulcan Sports Radio Network. If I could be you, and you could be me for just one hour. If we could find a way to get inside each other's minds walk a mile in my shoes walk, walk a, a mile, mile in my, my shoes well before you abuse criticize and accuse walk, walk a mile in my shoes
Prairie Social Media Coordinator, Rob Burleson, Percussion Instructor, Technician, and Randall Jeffries, Visual and Grill Design. <laughs> this year, the band would like to take you on a trip into outer space, featuring our rendition of the planets, our 2022 field show, Cal U, The Final Frontier. Allison, Elena, and Tristan, is your band ready?
And welcome back here to Edmonton Stadium. Um, as we're getting ready right for the start of the second half, of <clears throat> the California leads it at 21-7. And, and as we look at the, here at the halftime stats, Safe, what do we got? Uh, uh, East Strasburg leading in rushing yardage, uh, 18 carries for 63 yards for East Strasburg, 12 carries for 41 yards for Cal and passing yards. Uh, no Mitchell uh, edging out in that one. 136 pa passing yards for the Vulcans compared to the 74 for East Strasburg. Total yardage, California ran 25 plays in the first half for 177 yards compared to East Strasburg. 37 plays for 137 yards. Penalty yardage, uh, California eight penalties for 72 yards in that first half. East Strasburg three penalties for 31 yards. And then time of possession, East Strasburg had the, uh, had the ball in the first half for 16 minutes and 39 seconds compared to California's 13 minutes and 21 seconds. A few other stats to look at as well. Uh, third down conversions, California three or four on the day compared to East Strasburg's three of seven, but East Strasburg two of two on fourth downs conversions compared to California's O oh and one. No Mitchell, 10 for 13, 136 yards, no touchdowns on the day for him yet. Jaquay Jackson, five catches for 72 yards, leading receiver for the Vulcans. Eric McCann, the third, seven rushes for 41 yards and two touchdowns. And on the other side for East Strasburg, uh, Jake Cirillo, nine catches for 18 yards, um, or nine completions for 18 yards, excuse me, with the one interception. No touchdowns for him. And then uh, Tariq Lewis, uh, eight rushes for 29 yards and the touchdown. And then uh, Lewis and uh, Jonathan Post, two catches for 14 yards each. While we got a second here, as we see e, the highlights from the first half, of <coughs> including that 77-yard art from uh, um, Gerald Brown on fumble recovery. Uh, we got here is our scores around the PSAC right now. Clarion trails Westchester 17 to 13. 13. Lockhaven and Edinburgh deadlocked at 6. Also in the top eye right now is Gannon and Shippensburg even at 14. Seton Hill leads Millersville 10 to 7 right now. All waiting on, on an update from our friends at Mercyhurst in Bloomsburg. Kutztown leads Slippery Rock 10 and nothing right now on the first quarter and then getting ready to start at about an hour or so will be the PSAC title game at 3 o'clock. IUP versus Shepard. Er, so we'll keep an eye on those scores. Also, oh, the Vulcans were busy yesterday eh, on the hardwood. Uh, the women picked up a big victory yesterday eh, as they want in 76 to, or 60 e to se, uh, er, blah, 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 70 to 67. And if I could English today, that'd be great. Eight. Also, the men picked up a victory over Wheeling University last night, 82 to 73, eh, as we were both there for that one. One safe. So looking forward to doing basketball this week. Yeah, two big wins for them, and then both of them are playing today. The women's uh, are facing off against nationally ranked Charleston, West Virginia, down in Charleston, West Virginia. That game kicking off here very soon, and then t later on tonight, California, the men's team will take on uh, the uh, nationally ranked uh, West Liberty at West Liberty. So two big games for the Vulcan basketball team here tonight as well. Shout out to our friend Colin Kirkwood, who is at West Liberty right now, all covering football. All is uh. The Hilltoppers take on, on Frostburg State eight to the, eight, or this afternoon. As we get ready for this one, the Vulcans getting ready to receive the ball. Oh, is they, they were the last team to score. They scored or before the end of the half, given in in East Stroudsburg about a minute and a half uh, worth of time to work with. It, so they'll get the ball to start here. And Bartholomew, whose kick is away, Way back there, and the Vulcans just going to let this one bounce out of the end zone for a touchback. And then we, as we take a look, uh, we talked about the PSAC uh, schedule for today. We already went through the scores. Cal, East Strasburg going on right now. Obviously, Westchester and Clarion already kicked off. Lockhaven, Edinburgh, Millersville, Seton Hill, Shippensburg, Gannon, Kutztown, Slippery Rock, Bloomsburg, Mercyhurst, and then finally in the title game, Shepard and IUP. So... A whole slate of games here on the final day of regular season play in the PSAC. And then coming out here, the Vulcans offense will start at the 25. So first and 10 now. Ole Mitchell in the gun. Two running backs on each, one on each side. Twin receivers on the far side. Jackson, the receiver on the near. Hand off and looks like that's going to be E. Williams as he dives forward doing when his best impression of the William Chicago Ball Bears Bears. diving across That'll the field. Ball as he down. slides forward for a first down. Owen's going to be stopped around on the 36-yard line. And a great effort that time by Williams. Kind of stumbling, and as it, just as he's about to fall, just jumps and propels himself forward to get that first down. 
and again about a yard or so more. So good start here in the second half for this Vulcan offense. First and 10 now out from um, the 36. Mitchell is going to go oh, into the, the pistol now. Oh, McKin Williams, the running back behind him. McConaughey to his left. Fakes the handoff. Roll out. Oh, fires downfield. Old it looks like Jackson on the reception as he turns up field. Old gets the rece a few, the few yards in the first down. Correction, that's going to be Cam Tarrant on the reception. Yeah. Mitchell faked in. the handoff to Williams. Rolling yeah. to his right. Had plenty of time. Tarrant on that comeback route, able to just pick it up a few yards shy of that first down marker and able to juke a couple of defenders before getting brought down for that first down. And Tarrant, that's the second catch of the day. And on senior day, well, uh, hopefully we can see him get involved a little bit more here on the offense as the game goes on. Twin receivers on the near side. It's Jackson and Tarrant. Aaron McConaughey and Reebok are on the far side. Mitchell in the gun with Williams. Hands off to Williams. Williams to run forward. Erd drags a couple defenders. Erd's forward. Erd for it looks like it's going to be a gain of about six. And once again, another great run by Williams. Didn't have as much space from the offensive line that we've seen um, earlier on, but still very powerful. Had uh, a Jahan Worth on his back and just pulling him forward for some extra yardage before finally being brought down. And Williams in that first half had uh, three rushes for 13 yards and already has 13 yards here in the second half on the ground. Twin receipt. Ace formation in here for the Vulcans in the guns. Mitchell Old jukes one defender. He's going to take off and run. Mitchell Old's got a lane, spins out of the way of one and breaks another tackle. Oh, before being brought down on on the 40-yard line, and but hold everything. There's a flag thrown very late in the like in the secondary, but Mitchell able to escape the pocket under a ton of pressure. Throws up. It was uh, worth once again getting back there first, but able to just juke past them and run forward for that first down. But we gotta wait and see what the call for um what the call is gonna be here. I think this one might be coming again. And stuff. East Stroudsburg. So we, the Vulcans might get another few yards out of this. So we'll wait and find out the call. There is no foul for targeting the play. So, there so they're going to pick up the flat egg as it looked like it was going to be a late, late targeting. And as we see here, Mitchell will just break, aches a sack, and then rebar or gives him the lead block. Tur <coughs> turns into a first down. Oh, and as we see here, here. I honestly don't see where you could have called targeting on that one. Yeah, they picked up the flag as a potential targeting, but, I mean, Mitchell just took it like a champ, just got brought down around the legs, so nowhere near the head, but it looks like the defender for East Stroudsburg getting up, that would be number three, Tyler Watson, the injured uh, the injured warrior down on the field. It looks like he's going to make his way off the field. Hopefully everything's all right with him as both teams look to get out here uh, to, to continue play here in the second half. So after the injury timeout, out the Vulcans will come back out here, here with Mitchell and company. Two bat acts, Reba R and Williams for, <coughs> for the Vulcans. Jackson, the lone receiver on the near side, Langley and Tarrant on the far. 12.40, need to go here in the third quarter. Vulcans lead at 21, one to seven. Mitchell takes a snap, hand off to Williams. Williams bounces to the near side, cuts inside, gets a back to the line of scrimmage that might have lost a yard or two. It was the ball popped out late, but they're going to say down by contact. Yeah, very lucky, or very fortunate for the Vulcans that that ball didn't pop out, but just uh, great, uh, great uh, defense that time by East Rosberg, just setting the edge and not letting Williams do anything. But yeah, you see right there, the ball did come out, but it looks like Williams did have that knee down before the ball was ripped out of his arms. Yeah, the knee and a forearm, so he down by eye contact. Heck, after that one, Mitchell will spread formation. McConaughey, he has the wing with Jackson on the near side. Mitchell drops back, fires to the far side, finds and it's going to be in and out of his hands, intercepted by East Stroudsburg. 
Pass is intercepted. Yeah, trying to find Tarrant on that comeback, but Tarrant just didn't turn around in time. It was going to be open, open Yanju on the interception as we take a look at the replay once again. Mitchell is back to pass and left that one a little bit too far inside. Or, or excuse me, that was for Langley. And Open Yanju able to just get that one and pick it off. And now East Rouse, we're going to come out here and look to close in this game up. So for the turnover, that'll be the second in turnover of the game aim for, or excuse me, the third turnover. Cirillo in the pistol. Old Trips on the near side and lone receiver on the far. Fakes the handoff. Pass it. it is high. He almost overshot his man. And as they bring that one down on short of the first down on gain of about eight. Yeah, take a look at the replay here. As Cirillo fakes the handoff and has his receiver Cook. And Cook able to get up there and pull that one in. And just very funny because he's able to pull that one in. But had that uh, easy catch down on the near side. Could have been for a touchdown earlier on in the game and just dropped it out of his hands. But great job there adjusting. Able to get up very early and able to pull that pass in. Second and two now. Oh, man in motion. Fakes the hand off. Oh, and get, goes nowhere. Loss of about three. He is the Vulcans defense and stands tall. Oh, and is that front six stepping up once again as Gerald Brown and Derek Corboy and it looks like Gabe Miller as well all getting in there for the stop. Yeah, that's how they used um, they used Cook as a distraction. Sent him in motion, faked the toss to him, and then handed it off to Mills. But, I mean, just as Mills was received the handoff, it got blown up in the backfield by Brown. Third and five now, all, all for or E. Strasburg. Cirillo O takes the snap up, drops back, has to step up, up, fires across the field, old, almost intercepted again. And and did he catch that? Yes, he did. And how did he hold on to that, John? Un? Yeah, I mean, great catch by Benny Pendleton. Had Kevon Mormon beating down on him. So we take a look at the replay here. Dangerous as Cirillo had to step up in the pocket and just laser that. And Pendleton able to just get in front of Mormon and pull that one in. So first and ten now all four or the Warriors this on the the opposing side of the 50. They'll be the 43 yard line of the Vulcans. Cirillo drops back back in the gun and fires downfield. Oh, looking for a man and, and he overshoots his target and way <laughs> over there. For Cook. This Cook was not hunt anywhere near the ball on that one and unless he was aiming for the pylon. Uh, and it'll be second down in 10. I mean, good idea, Cirillo. I mean, we know he has a cannon of an arm, and he had Cook open on that far side on that one-on-one -on -one coverage, but just way, way too far overshot him. Almost ended up in, in, like out of the stadium. Almost sent that one on to the houses across the street. He, but second down in 10, Cirillo, oh, twin in tight ends, in twin in receivers, and we're going to get a timeout out, Old California, and that'll be the first time out of the game used. California. Yeah, just uh, kind of uh, trying to figure out what they wanted to do, didn't like what they saw with the personnel that they had hey, on the field, and, and uh, their timeout will stop the clock. I mean, it was already stopped at 9.41 left to play here in the third quarter, and now we have, while we have a second, make sure to follow us on social media, Instagram and Twitter, Cal Vulcans, and uh, Cal U or CUTV PA and CUTV underscore PA for all uh, live coverages and updates of everything here at Cal, and we're also on there too, so just uh, keep an eye out on that. Make sure to follow us for everything on social media. As we hear or, or down below, they're doing the Dairy Queen ice cream screen. And, and chilly day, but uh, a lot of people want an ice cream right now. So, oh. Officials are going to uh, call all the end of the meeting of Mines. And we'll get back underway. Hey, and see, Strasburg's going to come back out. Well, now, oh, <coughs> looking to convert here. But the Vulcans also going to shift a little bit here in the defensive package. Second down and 10 from the 42. Vulcans going with that 5 3 E look up front. 
Cirillo. Option is the is a switch sides with the running back. Man in motion. Hand off. Fakes the handoff snap. Uh, Cirillo going down the, on the field looking for Cooks again. And this time I'm, he almost hit that same pylon. Pass is incomplete. Yeah, well, and an overshot Cook. Cook once again. It's third and you can tell that he really likes this one on one coverage. It's Cook versus Jermichael Isom on that far or on the near side. And once again, uh, Cook had a, about a step on Isom. But the throw, once again, uh, from Cirillo, just not accurate. Just a little too far, <laughs> or not even a little, way too far out of the reach for Cook to pull in. And it's going to bring up a third and long now for East Stroudsburg. Third and ten now, all from the Vulcan 42-yard line. Cirillo is going to empty the backfield out, out five wide. Here comes the pressure. Hit as he throws, fires, and it's intercepted by the Vulcans. Kevon Mormon, or excuse me, that's Isom um, with the interception on that play. Yeah, we can take a look at the replay as once again the Bulgans getting a ton of pressure and it's Toby absolutely laying out Cirillo as he's throwing and it's just a duck and Isom able to get under it, able to just come back and take that one away from Ezekiel Lopez and now the Vulcan offense is going to come out of your second interception of the day for Cirillo. That will be the third er, turnover of the game for or the Warriors now. As the Vulcans now uh, all take over first and ten from their own. They're going to mark it at the 17 yard line. Mitchell in the gun, and twin receivers on the far side, tight end, and McConaughey and Jackson on the near side. Williams the running back. Mitchell fires, finds Willis the third. It's going to be enough for the first down, oh, and maybe a little extra. Very smart by uh, Eric Willis. I mean, it's uh, still a little bit wet out here. The rain looks like it died down a little bit, but still has the potential. But Willis able to get there first on that crossing route, able to just uh, pull that catch in and get down immediately to avoid any sort of uh, hit or any sort of a chance to let that one fall out of his hands and gets enough for the first down as well. Mitchell all drops back. Axe going to fire it down on the sideline. Finds Jaquay Jackson in on the sideline as he's going to bring that one in and on the opposite side of the four, of the 50. Down around uh, on the 35-yard lines where they're going to mark him. And we've seen Jackson this one-on-one -on -one coverage all day. And earlier on, Jackson had that one broken up from him, but a little bit underthrown. But Jackson able to recover, able to turn around and make the adjustment one-on-one -on, -one on that outside with Malachi Bowman, and then just able to come back, kind of uh, maybe pushed him just a little bit, but no call made. But and Jackson able to pull that one in for a big play. So oh, after the play, eh, that one go, one for 37 yards. Hurts Mitchell and company will start or first and ten and from the 35. Takes the snap, hand off to McCann and fake the th it finds Jackson on the slant route. Hold for another first down gain of about oh, 13 on that one. And Mitchell pulls that one out at the last second and smartly so because. Uh, the, the defensive line for East Strasburg got back there very quickly to try to blow up that run and just finds Jackson on that slant across the middle of the field and this Vulcan offense starting to pick up here in the second half. Mitchell now 14 of 18 on the day. It'll be first and 10 for the Vulcans from on the East Strasburg 23. Hand off to McCann. McCann rumbles forward before getting in power slant. Get him to the turf down around the 20. Just uh, every play so far for the Vulcans in the second half has been nice, positive yardage. Uh, a couple this time as McCann, like you said, just gets thrown to the ground. But looks like he is actually kind of limping his way off the field. Hopefully everything's all right with him because it looks like McGriff now is going to come into the game. Malik McGriff, the senior, the other senior er, on the roster er, for this Vulcan offense, comes out now. This will be the first time we've seen him in a while. Second and eight now, all for, excuse me, second and seven for the Vulcans. McCann, or excuse me, Mitchell steps up, up, up looking to throw, run, but he, he's going to get thrown down for the sack, but hold everything, flying on the play. It's going to be 
a holding call against Fritz Kelly Edmonds. We take a look at the replay here, and you can see that hold right there. Kelly Edmonds just holding around the the, the head of number 18, Deshaun McCarthy, but that was Jahan Worth getting back there to Mitchell. But looks like East Strasburg is going to decline the penalty. So a little surprised on that one. You know, thought thought they'd have took the penalty, but. It's going to be third, third and 10, so loss of three on the play hey, after the sack. That'll be 80. Third time Mitchell's been sacked today. Spread formation for the Vulcan, and it's Mitchell oh, in the gut. And McGriff, the running back to his right. Rain starting to lighten up a little bit here, here at Adamson Stadium. Snap out. Mitchell drops back because he feels the bull rush. He's going to roll near side. All right, he's going to keep it himself and take the run. Flag down. On lit and big hit there on the sideline. Right, and another flag that take down. On as Mitchell old, old, dr jumped out of bounds for, for a gain of about three. So let's find out what the flags are. It's, I mean, the one's going to be on Jackson Daughter. He just lay in the boom on the defender trying to get the beat on Mitchell and just lays him out. And there is one thrown in the backfield. So waiting to see what this one is going to be as well. Looks like the offense is both, or the offense and the defense both staying out there. So this one, uh, there might be one against either team here. And these might offset, so we'll find out off the call here in a second. And while we got a moment and for station identification here, here, here on the Vulcan Sports Radio Network. Two fouls on the play, both by the offense. Holding on the offense. Number 79, Jordan Mitchell. Holding on the offense. Personal foul. Blind side block. Offense, number 12. That penalty will be accepted with a repeat of the down after a 15-yard so, penalty. So there's going to be two penalties on the play, one for, or two, both on the offense. There's going to be a holding call, number 79, Noel Browse. That one's going to be declined, and then they're going to call this penalty as we take a look at your screen. The blindside block by Jackson Daughtery will be a 15-yard penalty, but the Vulcans still will have uh, the ball on this third down, and at this point just trying to get themselves maybe in range for a Beatco kick to extend the lead. So third and 15 now. Now they're talking things over here. Here with the coach over here on for East Stroudsburg. While we got a second here Aaron, for station identification here on the Vulcan Sports Radio Network, you're tuned in on 91.9 FM. Um, WCAL California, Pennsylvania, Penn West, California. His best music here on Power 92. Ooh, you're home for the Vulcan Sports Radio Network. And so third and 25 is where they're going to mark it now for the Vulcan. And it's back to the 45-yard line. line or excuse me. In the 30, 37, if I could I'd read the yards of <laughs> it would be great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they changed it a couple of times. It's now that it's third and 24 from the 27, or from the 37. So, oh, here we go. Third down and a mile for the or Mitchell and company. Just trying to get it inside. Eat field goal territory for Beatco. So, oh, two running back. Actually, it'll be, looks like I agree with Aaron McCann out there for the Vulcans. Jackson in on the near side. Mitchell steps up, up, trying to avoid the sack, and he's going to be stopped in the backfield for a lot just around the 40-yard line. So that will send out the punting unit for the Vulcans. Yeah, that time, that number 50, Ryan Heber, able to get back to him, just able to just throw off Kelly Edmonds, just throw him away and just pull him down. And, and that will be the first time we've seen the, uh, the Vulcan punting unit come out here today. Clayton Rosenstiel having a fantastic freshman year. Uh, punting the ball for the Vulcans, and that'll be the first time we've seen him here today. Back deep for, for the e, Warriors will be e, Malachi I. Bowman and Clayton Rosensteel, oh, the local old oh, from, from Monongahela, Pennsylvania. There's a the snap. Kick is away, and it's an end over end. It's going to take a Vulcan bounce down under the side, the 10-yard line, and it's going to stop right around on the 8-yard eight, eight line is where er, the or <coughs> East Stralsburg will take over. Yeah, beautiful punt. It looked like it was going to take an even further bounce and maybe go into the end zone, but just got enough backspin on it to keep it 
uh, to, to let it bounce a little bit, but not go too far and keep it inside the 10. So uh, we're still able to pin uh, this um, East Stroudsburg offense back. And now it's up to the Vulcan defense once again to get another big stop. So it'll be first and 10 and from their own eight yard line. And 5.21 to go here in the third quarter. Cirillo in the gun. In the pistol net, all two backs. Hands off up the middle. Oh, and the Vulcans ready for that one. And gain of about all two ooh, as Lewis is going to be Lewis stopped. Up as he pops out, out of the, oh, that, just trying to get hit something going. And but uh, it'll be second down and eight. I mean, and this Vulcan defense all year uh, against the rush play. has been amazing. Second Coming down. in this game, only gave up 55 yards a game on the ground. You can see why that front uh, seven and that pressure that they're able to get with those big guys inside and Corboy and Hill and uh, Brown, as well as the line black and core with the Miller brothers and Sonogo. Just great run stoppers there on the on that front line. Cirillo hands it off again. And in, this time, Lewis has got some um, running room as he's going to be brought down on, around, on his own 25-yard line. And, and it'll be a first down, down for East Stroudsburg. As we take a look at the replay, just a little bit of misdirection, faked it like he was going to uh, make that screen pass and just hands it off to uh, to Lewis and great open field tackle by Mormon to prevent it from being an even longer run. But East Stroudsburg now find themselves uh, with a little bit of breathing room on their own side of the field. So it'll be first down from on the 24 is where they're going to mark it. At 4 or 10 to go here in the first. Or in the third quarter. Hand off to Lewis. Lewis is going to uh, try to cut Lewis back across, and he's going to take a loss on the play. Loss of about one running. or two. Who is Matt Toby, Ian Mormon, step up on the play. Yeah, another un, a, a second play in a row where Mormon is getting involved. And like I said, just trying to cut his way back Looking up the field. But great awareness by Mormon to not let him do that and just pull him down for maybe, it looks like they're going to give him a, maybe half a yard at most. So oh, three receivers and in a wing in the pistol, Ole Cirillo. Lewis, the running back. Cirillo doesn't like what he sees, calls for the audible. Old Gabe Miller or call, calling an audible for the defense for the Vulcans. And they could East Stroudsburg or couldn't couldn't cut them up with what they wanted. It is the play clock was winding down and the Warriors will call a timeout. Yeah, I mean, uh, looks like both teams just not really sure what they want to do, but East Strasburg, they're the ones that need to get the playoff and just ran out of time, and that'll, they'll take their first time out, and that'll set the clock with 3.20 left to play here in the third quarter. And then both teams now with two timeouts here in the second half. Taking a look here, er, er, clearing and cutting that lead down a little bit more now. Now down four or against Westchester's. That's now 13 or 17 13 in the score. Still tied up at Edinburgh right now. All 6 6 along with Gannon. Also still deadlocked with Shippensburg 14. He's Eaton Hill and Millersville. Oh, is 10 7 still, still up there. Waiting on an update from Mercyhurst. And it's still oh, 10 0 in Kutztown leading Slippery Rock right now. Actually, correction on that score, or as Westchester leads 27 to 20. Yeah, I just got the update now on that one. Gannon and Shippensburg are still lo uh, tied, but it's 21 21. And as Lewis dives forward. And yeah, once again, East Rose are going stop. for those uh, screen passes, able four. to find Roche it's on that far side. But great tackle down. by Toby, able to bring him down after a gain of a couple and bring up a third and six now for uh, this East Strasburg offense. Also, oh, Kutztown leads Slippery Rock 17 to 10 right now as well. Cirillo oh, hands it off once again to Lewis. Gets up and it, it just enough for a first down. Lewis, the ball oh, it'll be a, another first down for the Warriors. You take a look at the replay here. In Set the, the man in motion once again. Had Lopez go all the way down. behind. First hands this one off 36. to Lewis. And Lewis so slippery. He would just squeeze his way through a hole before getting blown up. But not after he was able to pick up enough yardage for the first down. So first and ten now from the East Stroudsburg. 
36-yard line. Twin receivers on both sides. Cirilla, oh, in the pistol. Fakes the handoff again, and he's going to get sacked in the backfield. And the ball comes loose, and the Vulcans are fighting for it. And so we're going to find out. Oh, they're going to And it's a fumble recovered by the Vulcans. Matt Toby getting that recovery for the Vulcans. And we take a look at the replay. It just seemed kind of confused that Toby was the one that kind of forced it out. It's going to be Sonogo, the one picking it up. And I think that one, I mean, the weather is a factor. It looks like it kind of just slipped out of Cirillo's hands. And then it looks like it was maybe an attempt at like a pump fake or something, trying to get Toby off of him. But Toby able to force that one out and Sonogo able to pick it up. And now the Vulcan offense will start at a fantastic uh, field position at the East Strasburg, about 27-yard line. As we see here, or Toby forcing it out. Oh, and then mm, <coughs> Sonoga oh, comes up with the recovery. But well, they're going to say he is down by contact on the recovery. And that's what either marking it and where he's at. So it'll be first and 10 and for, on the East Stroudsburg 27 yard line. Two minutes to go here er, in the third quarter. Mitchell under center. Hand off to McCann. McCann and rumbling forward. Excuse me, that's Williams. He's going to rumble forward for maybe a Williams gain of one or two. And East Stroudsburg now just uh, doing a, a better job at stopping this uh, rushing attack from the Vulcans. But getting back to it, that's now the fourth turnover of the Second game for East Stroudsburg, and all four of them are from Jake Cirillo. So we're a minute and a half away from the end of the third. Mitchell in the gun and twins on both sides. Mitchell steps up, looking for or somewhere to go, oh, and he's going to get sacked, but there's a flag on the play. Mitchell taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I think this one's going to go against the Vulcans on once the again. Holding offense number 57. And it's going to be against That's Fritz Kelly Edmond once again, and it looks like East Strasburg is going to decline it, I mean, after getting the sack going to be a huge loss and now the ball's going to be placed all the way back at the 35. That'll be the fifth time Mitchell is sacked today. So it'll be third and, and 18 as we're down to a minute here in the third quarter. Mitchell with twins receivers on the far side. Need Finds his man, and it's going to be Langley on the near side. Langley and he's going to get it back to the original line of scrimmage. Davis with the Might have a little bit of extra. Uh, it's, uh, they're going to say the original line of scrimmage, so it's going to be the fourth and ten. It looks like the offense the is going to go for it here. Yeah, I mean, you'd like ten. to kick it, but with the weather the way that it is, it's probably not uh, viable unless the Vulcans are just trying to draw uh, – East Strasburg offside here. So late substitution for or, or both teams here. Here, play clock one and down to 10 seconds. And the Vulcans are going to call a timeout. Oh, there was two seconds left on the play clock. Yeah, just a little bit confusing because it seemed like both teams making the substitutions super late, but already well within uh, in the plot of uh, the the time of the play clock it was already winding down under 15 seconds and that was that time i will stop the clock with 12.4 seconds left here in the third quarter also oh just getting underway now oh the will be the women's basketball game <coughs> as they take on 25th rank and charleston At Charleston University, and down in Charleston, West Virginia, a rematch. Uh, the rematch from last year. Here's her national tournament game, and I guarantee you the Vulcans have a chip on their shoulder. Yeah, tough match. I was there. Me and uh, uh, Finney and Maison were down there calling the game uh, as uh, Charleston were able to defeat the Vulcans in that round of the NCAA tournament. 
knocking them knocking them out and but both teams coming in this game nationally ranked the Vulcans ranked uh, the Vulcans women's basketball team ranked seventh in the country uh, and, and Charleston ranked 15th so it's gonna be a, a very very good game to watch I can't wait to check it out after after this game's done so oh <coughs> trips on the far side Langley the lone receiver on the near McCann the running back to Mitchell's left Takes a snap, drops back, fires down on the seam route. Oh, and into the end zone, touchdown, Vulcans. It's Jaquay Jackson and in for six. I mean, and it, it was coming, it was coming. And the whole game, no Mitchell, a beautiful pass here. McCann able to pick up the uh, the block on the defender coming in and then lining up Jackson in the slot and just having him run that seam and able to get a step on the on that corner there was Tyler Watson who was in coverage and Jackson able to get two steps ahead of him a perfect pass by Mitchell and uh, finally uh, getting a, a passing touchdown to Jaquay Jackson here in this game Tarrant the holder for the Vulcans and Beatco on for the kick Snap up, down, kick up, and good. And so, oh, with seven seconds left, left to go here or in the third quarter, or we'll be back 28 to 7 to score, or, or here on CUTV, CUT Sports 1, the PSAC Network, and 91.9 FM, the Vulcan Sports Radio Network. Worried about your friend, but don't know how to reach out? You can say how are you or get a fake tattoo. You can ask with an app if it works for you. You can chat with them in VR. It's all good if you think you should check in. Yeah, you should. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. Reach out to a friend about their mental health. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. Learn how you can help at SeizeTheOpera.org. And welcome back here, here to Edmonton Stadium. On oh, the Vulcans extending the lead now by 21. And his, after Jackson's touchdown catch from Mitchell, Bowman and, and, and Cook back to return for or East Stroudsburg. Beatco ready to kick it away. And so we did have of an unsportsmanlike penalty. He against East Stroudsburg, or, or excuse me, he, no, excuse me, an illegal substitution and declined in the penalty. He, so the point after try is good. So the Vulcan is getting ready to kick this one away here. So we hear the band getting, getting fired up on the near side. And Beat Coast kick is away down, and it's going to go down on around the tent. And Bowman will pick it up there. Aaron er, looking for a route out, and he jukes one and jukes another, breaks free, and gets runs backwards, and it's going to be brought down around the, on the five yard line. And but that's going to be, that or excuse me, the 15. The that's going to do it uh, for the end of the third quarter. Or the Vulcans lead it at 28 to seven, but we're going to keep it right here. Here on. And, here on CUTV as Blaze hammers away a, a the 28 he count on as it, I did mention today is senior day a, and of course up here at CUTV is no different as Outside. myself Elf and Tom Caton and both both are senior there's up here here uh, this is our last football broadcast not our last broadcast because we've got uh, he's got to deal with us for at least one more semester. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But uh, this is our last semester, or our last year, or, but this will be our last football broadcast. And I know. So we'll, we'll hold that thought on it. They have to re kick it. It's, so it was an untimely going to go as an untimed play so let's get rid we'll come back i'll talk more about that here in a second yeah there was a penalty on the play there was a uh, an offside from the kicking team so that ended up uh, uh and uh 
East Strasbourg wanted to have this one re-kicked, so it'll move the Vulcan, the, the kicking spot back, Biko back to the 30, and East Strasbourg, they're, um, the people receiving will move up just a little bit, and they'll re-kick this one, and it'll be the final play of the third quarter. So Biko oh, will, oh, will re-kick this one. And that one's away eight, eight after the offside penalty. And they're just going to kneel it down there. So that'll be the end. Now this will be the official end of, of the third quarter. Her, and as I was saying before, uh, the penalty, a, this is senior day. A, and uh, for or Tom and I, I, this is our, this will be the that end of the, the, the end of the third quarter. So we'll keep it right here on CUTV and CUTV Sports 1, the PSAC Network. Or as I was saying earlier, this is senior day for or Tom and I. Hey, so uh, this will be our last football broadcast. And I know Tom's been helping with production and has been and si <laughs> sitting here or in front of us. Uh, if we get the graphic one more time, well, we got out a moment here. The graphic. There. Green, as uh, safe and or as Tom and I've had had a lot of fun doing this. We were talking on our way back from the basketball last night. Eight, the fact that we, between the two of us, over the last couple of years have done somewhere between about all 300 shoots all together, studio and on the for sport or it's in. All I can say is thank you, everyone, and for or all the support here. Yeah, it's been great. It's been an honor to work with both of you guys. It's been a phenomenal, and uh, it is a shame that this is going to be the last football broadcast that you two are going to be able to have here. As Lewis trying to get something going in here. Lewis, the ball here going gets in. the stop. Dillo on the stop. As Noah Dillo comes up with the eight stop on the play. play. Second down, a second down and eight now. Yeah, Dillo able to get back there first, but my favorite part of it is afterwards, uh, Jacob Siegel just comes out of it with the ball. Obviously, uh, Lewis was down already, but he was just trying to uh, showcase the ball and just try to try to get him to get it or try, try to convince them to turn it back. And now this offense is going to come back out here, second and eight now for East Stroudsburg. So, oh, 14. 20 to go here or in regulation time. Cirillo oh, dropping back, but there's a flag on the play. Flag on the play. Full start. Offense. Number 79. Five yard penalty. start on the offense. That time's going to go against number 79. Guy Gilliard. Another contender for the best name here on East Stroudsburg. <laughs> I was going to say, they got some winners on this one. Yeah, I mean, his name's Guy. I mean, that's just, that is just fantastic. So that'll back him up. It'll be second down and 15, or second down and 13, excuse me, on for er, the Warriors. They're, they're looking for er, Matt Toby's going to step up and voids his one sack, gets it away. And, and the Vulcans are calling in for, in for intentional grounding. And, and I think that's what the refs are going to talk to over here. Er, And there is a flag down. Flag on the play. Intentional grounding. Offense, number 17. Yeah, they're going to call intentional grounding. And it looks like uh, East Strasburg did throw in a new quarterback, number 17, Matt DeLaurentis, back there. And he's going to get charged with the intentional grounding, still with it, within the pocket, and just throws that one away. No one in East Strasburg in the area for that one, so it'll go down as an intentional grounding. They'll lose the down, and they'll lose the yardage as well. So, oh. Oh, third and, and uh, a mile now, all four, or East Stroudsburg, or De Laurentiis, now the quarterback act for, or the Warriors, or I did not notice that initially. So it'll be third, third down, it's third and down. 19. 19 to go, oh, third, they're going to mark it third, third and 20, actually. De Laurentiis. Looking for a man and can't find and it looking for the quick screen route out on the Vulcans nearly picked that one off again. And but it falls incomplete. So it's gonna be fourth and a mile 
Oh, and this time they are going to send out the punting unit. I mean, the last time this punting unit came out here, they converted on a, <laughs> on a fake punt. But that time, the pass from De Laurentiis just seemed a little rush and uh, trying to find his intended target, but it just got thrown off the back of one of his own offensive linemen. And now the, the Vulcans are sending two, uh, receive, or two p uh, p people back deep to return this punt and maybe try to prevent the fake punt again. Sam Martinez, and they're going to block this one. The Vulcans are going to pick it up, up and they're going to have great field position as they're down around on the two-yard line. It's Gabe Miller again. He did it again. <laughs> And almost took it back to the house. We had our own, almost had a special teams touchdown on as Miller or comes in, blocks it, and sends it flying down to the on the sideline. As we see here, the Vulcans pick it up, 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 and are, almost takes it back to the house. As Dominic, it looks like Dominic Solomon Jr. or excuse me, he, that was going to be he, he, Isaiah Cameron on the recovery, he, and the Vulcans will take over first and goal from the two. Yeah, we saw him do that a couple weeks ago at Clarion, and Miller lays it all out there to, to get that block, and he does so, and then Cameron just scoops it up and gets brought down in uh, at the five-yard line, so now the Vulcan offense coming out here once again to try to punch it in. Last quarter of play a here, here for the season for the Vulcan, and Mitchell lines up under center, her play. Her power eye fakes the hand off up the middle. Oh, is going to be McCann. McCann's going to get in the gain of about old a yard. Lazar on the stop. Yeah, that time the the offensive line for the Vulcans just not able to get the push it needed. It looks like they're going to give uh, McGriff a little bit of running, uh, a little bit of time here in the backfield at the end of this game. I think they're going to say that he lost a yard on that play, so bring up a second and goal from the six now for the Vulcans. So the Vulcans are going to change some personnel now. Al trips on the far side. Jackson, the lone receiver on the near. Here as the Vulcans are, are going left to right on your radio dial now. Oh, Mitchell in the gun with, and with McGriff. Tarrant, the receiver, are in motion. And Mitchell is going to fire that one away as he's hit it. That's going to go incomplete, third and goal now. Yeah, Mitchell, they, uh, they're trying to find Tarrant on that route on the outside after he went in motion, but it looks like Tarrant just got, like, blown up, like, on that little pick route, and Mitchell just um, didn't like what he saw, had no nothing else going, so just threw it away. But a little bit slow to get up, got hit very late after, or uh, uh, just as he threw the ball, and looks like he's able to get up now, but third and goal now for the Vulcans at the six. And Mitchell was talking with the referee there for a second. And so same formation once again. And this time I'm McGriff on the near side. Or excuse me, that's going to be McCann in the game now oh, for, the, for the, the Vulcans. This time I'm back corner or looking for Tarrant. No good. Just over his head. And they're going to send the, the field goal unit out for the Vulcans with, with 12.44 to go here in regulation time. And just trying to get the senior Cam Tarrant uh, in the end zone for a touchdown here in this game, but that time just a little bit too far over his head. And that will be a three and out for the Vulcans who had the chance or had the ball in great field position here at the six. But Anthony Biko now going to come out here and try to extend the lead even more. Here we go. Tarrant the holder. Or Biko the kicker. Kick is up. Kick is up. And good. And that'll extend the lead. Eat another three points. 31 7 to score with 12.41 to go here. Or in the fourth quarter. Or the Vulcans lead it here on CUTV, CUTV Sports 1, the PSAC Network, and 91.9 FM, the Vulcan Sports Radio Network. If you're buzzed and doing this, to make yourself feel okay to drive, ZWX. Uh, you're not okay to drive. Y G K L V W. Uh, regular you. Hey, 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 hey. 
and welcome back here here to Edmondson Stadium. Beatco extends the lead, lead to 31 on the seven. Now all the Vulcans lead it here er, er, with just a little over 12 minutes to go oh, in the fourth quarter. Beatco oh, kicks it in a way a, on the ground, on, picked up by one of the upmen, and he loses control. Oh, and now all the, all the Warriors looking for some help. And he's going to get it dogged by uh, several Vulcans and hold everything. Flag on the play. Simmons with the return. Yeah, that one just not handled comfortably by East Strasburg. Kind of just slipped out of his hands. And a lot of and uh, California, after getting up that long first uh, initial kick, decided to squib it for the rest of the game. And looks like there's going to be a flag this time against East Strasburg. That's number 39, Nick Devonzo. A holding call is going to move the, the East Strasburg offense back 10 yards. So, oh, after the penalty, that's going to back him up from the end of the run. Be fir first and 10 from the 17-yard line. First and 10 from the 17. So, oh, De Laurentiis back at quarterback once again for the Warriors. Drops back. He's going to fire, or er, trying to find his man. Almost, almost completed that at one handed catch was Cooks, but Cooks dropped that one. Yeah, just trying to find There's his receiver over the there. The just foul. in and out of his hands, but the there's going to be a roughing the passer call. That time against Gerald Brown, Gerald Brown as, look, as uh, he hit De Laurentiis as um, a little bit high, so this one's going to um, move that East Strasburg offense up here. So, oh, they'll start from where uh, initially the return earned what, uh, is for East Strasburg now. Yeah, they'll First take it right now at the 32. 32 is where the ball will be marked. So, uh, De Laurentiis. Twins on both sides. Drops back. Fires. Overshoots the man again. And, and this time will be second down. They tried to find. Second down. Tried to find his receiver in Chad Parton on that far side. But De Laurentiis hasn't looked entirely comfortable after he's come into the game. Uh, a, f a lot of his throws have been overshot that time. It went just a little bit too far over the head of Parton. It's going to be a second and 10 now for East Stroudsburg. Under 12 and a half to go here er, er in the fourth. Or De Laurentiis on the run and finds a screen. Man, and but, uh, it's not going to go anywhere. Er, has Eric Corboy and company Post were there the for the stop. The yeah, I mean, we've seen them run this screenplay many a time and was already under a ton of pressure. Stop. Solomon Jr. back there, almost able to Loss get to him, but play. able to find his it's man. But Sonogo and Corboy down. wrapped him up and after a loss of a couple and now bring up a third and long for East Stroudsburg. Third down and 12 now. I'll De Laurentiis going to empty the backfield out. Trips on the near side. Lone receiver and a wing on the far. He's going to step up, and he's going to get brought down on the backfield for a sack as the Vulcan defense has swarmed around him. Um, and I think that was the Miller brothers once again getting to him um, with <laughs> Noah Dillo and Matt Toby. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know who you can accredit this sack to because the whole defense got there. But it looks like Toby was able to get to him first. And great job by the Vulcan defense. Just the pressure that they have. Or, and that front that front five and then ended up being a front seven, just able to get back there to De Laurentiis. The punting unit coming back out. I mean, the last time this punting unit came out, Gabe Miller came uh, uh, blasting off that side and able to block it. So um, looking to try to do the same thing here. Two returners back for, for the Vulcans. And they're going to run up and get that one end over end. And it's Cam Terrence going to tell all everyone to stay away from this one. It's going to take an East Stroudsburg bat. Oh, it's going to be down around the 36. Yeah, just rugby punt that one after having a little bit, uh, 
a little bit more time as he kind of just uh, rolled to his right there. The punter, Santamini, able to get that one away. And then the Vulcan offense coming out here once again. They're going to start at their own 37. Looks like no Mitchell and company still going to make their way on the field with 10.43 left to play here in the fourth quarter. So, oh. Oh, Mitchell and company comes back out one more time. Trips on the near side. Jackson, the lone receiver on the far. Excuse me, that's going to be Cam Tarrant on the far side. Williams, the running back. Low snap, hand off to Williams. He's going to get gonna break one tackle, breaks another, or gets a lane, goes upfield. The old before being brought down around on the E45. They've down or on at the 43. Yeah, as we take a look at the uh, at the replay here, able to break that tackle and then has the vision to just make the cut and go all the way back to the other side of the field. Great vision that time by Devontae Williams before finally being brought down. He picks up six on that run right there. Second down on and four. Mitchell takes a snap, hand off to Williams again, and breaks another tackle. Oh, breaks through ooh, three. He jumps forward for a yard, or going to be third down and three now. He did the same thing that he did the last play. Broke off a tackle on the one side that completely just shifted his vision and went the uh, tried to get back on the other side of the field, but that time just gets caught up as more East Strasburg defenders were able to get around him. And now brings up a third and three for the Vulcan offense. So, oh. Well, the Vulcans are going to spread it out. All twins on both sides. Williams, the running back, act to Mitchell's left. Drops back. Fires. Finds Quay Jackson on the near side. He's right around the hash mark. And it's going to be brought down after a juke move. Hoover to who at the 46, or excuse me, the 44 of, of East Stroudsburg. And once again, Jackson just so great at finding the spots. There's four defenders in the area, but he just finds the pocket of space where none of them can get to him. And Mitchell able to fire that one in, complete the pass, and Jackson able to get another first down for this offense. Down to nine minutes to go here in the game. So you hear the student section getting riled up. So I believe we will win chance of coming out now. As Williams rumbles forward, heard for a nice gain, gets tripped up down around the 38. It'll be a gain of about out six. Yeah, great blocking that time by that Vulcan offensive line and just able to get Williams the space to work and, and Williams um, th th always does a great job at utilizing the space that he has. Able to just power forward and pick up some a very good chunk of yardage there on that first down run. Second it's down and, and it's going to break the huddle. Oh, oh, with the ace formation and in the gun is. And the Vulcans don't like what they see, so they're going to call a timeout. Timeout. Yeah, they just kind of ran out of time. Didn't, I, I wanted to, they knew what they wanted to do, but just couldn't get it off fast enough. And that, that's the Vulcans' last timeout. And that'll stop the clock with exactly eight minutes left here in the fourth quarter. While well, we got a second here, or we're not. Let's not forget Ed about our old CUTV and Friends podcast. As to everything that goes on in the media suite, eight between mean CUTV, WCAL, and the Caltech. Times where we have that's what she said. Ed High School Roundup, the coaches show, Caton's Corner, and much more. Or, or subscribe to our podcast as to on, on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, or where you may, wherever else you may find your podcast. We have saying I have, do have a couple of stats here for you. Say Jaquay Jackson, nine catches for 160 yards on the afternoon. So can uh, potentially uh, push towards that 200 mark. And then two 40-yard rushers for the Vulcans, Eric McCann with 43 and Devontae Williams with 40 on the ground. And McCann, Mitchell oh, hands it off to Williams up the middle. Oh, get, it's a gain of about out two. That's going to be third and, and two now, all oh, four. Third 
points. We're under down around seven and a half to go here or in the game. Falcons going to go power eye formation. Twin receivers on the far side. And off to Williams again as he rumbles forward. It's going to be close to the first down. Williams a ball carrier. Oh, and they're going to say just shy of the sticks. They just couldn't get uh, quite the push that they needed, but I think the Vulcans still very much in control of this game. They're going to keep the offense out here to try to pick up, to try to pick up the, four, uh, the fourth down and keep this offense uh, out here for the rest of the game. It's down on under seven minutes now. All 31-7, the score of Vulcans lead. And Cal, no, and no rush to get things off here. They don't have a timeout to go up to line quickly. Up the middle, McCant, and it's going to be close. And they're going to say he's short, or by, or by a couple inches as so we look at the replay here. Yeah, fantastic job by that East Strasburg defensive line, able to get back there quickly and just tripped up. It looks like McConaughey got pushed back and able to trip up McCann. And like I said, it looks like he's, it was about a yard short of that first down marker. So great stop by East Strasburg and, and, and it sent that Vulcan offense off the field. So a couple late substitutions here for the Vulcans now. ESU out here, or what, or first and 10 now, uh, all from their own 35, 6.38 to go. De Laurentiis fires on the near side, on the far side, Aiden can't connect hey, with his man, and break. looking for, or our Cooks, I believe. He's trying to find number 88, Tyrese Brandon, on that, that little swing pass, but once again, De Laurentiis is not looking very comfortable, that one too far ahead of Brandon to pull in, and that's going to be another incompletion for him. Second down and 10 now for, for the Warriors. 6.35 to go. De Laurentiis is going to hand it all off to who who looks like, <coughs> like Mills no, on the carry. Here, a gain of about out two. He's going to be stopped right on the 37-yard line. Miller on the yeah, another great uh, great job that time. Gabe Miller able to get in there and bring him down. So another third and long for this East Strasburg offense. Down to six minutes here er, in the game. De Laurenti is in the gun uh, and trips on the far side. Mills the running back to his right. He's going to send Mills out in motion. Now, all, all four bunched up on the far side. Hey, De Laurentiis feeling the pressure, looking for the screen route out and almost intercepted again. Yeah, great passing break. coverage. It was Isom again, Number able to break it up and, and, all, and almost able to pick that one off was John Hutchinson as we take a look at the replay once again. Just rolling to his right, off balance, throw broken up by Isom and John sits the guy before Hutchinson can pull that one in. So the punting unit will come back out for East Stroudsburg or one more time. And as we're at 5.46 to go oh, in the fourth quarter. Tarrant, Tarrant and Jackson back for the return. And here come the Vulcan and almost getting to that one again. And Tarrant will take that one. He gets a lane. And Jukes one, Jukes two, gets up the middle. Pull for a stop up right around on the 38-yard line. And where the Vulcans will take over. We've finally seen uh, one of these Vulcan players able to return it. That's Tom Tarrant. Picks up a, a decent chunk of yardage, about eight or nine yards on that return, and get the Vulcan offense in good field position. Looks like Noah Mitchell going to come back out here once again. 535 left to play here in the fourth quarter. I mean, it's senior day, A, the last game. Let him play. And, and let him out there. Or let him, let him throw it around on a little bit. As the Vulcans playing for pride here and to keep, keep the streak of, of a winning season alive, which it looks like they will. 
Looks like they will send out a couple new receivers, though. Uh, Deshaun Mack and Natel Blessed out there for the Vulcans. Handle off to Williams again, and Williams gets a gain of about all, all one. McCann, the ball carrier, gain of a yard. Excuse me, that was Eric McCann, the third er, on the carry. He's second and nine now for, for the Vulcans. Yeah, and the California is not in any rush to getting these plays off. And like you said, the Vulcans looking to stave off losing season. Haven't had a losing season since 2003. So just keeping that streak alive. I was one years old whenever the last time I had a losing season. I was in the third grade. I don't know what that says about you or what that says about me. <laughs> We're both getting old. That's what it means is Mitchell on the roll out, out finds McConaughey on the near side. Uh, and McConaughey a dropping the shoulder or laying the hit before he's knocked out of bounds down around on the 49 uh, of East Stroudsburg. Yeah, play action pass and able to find <laughs> Zach Rebar, that fullback coming in on the outside. And like you said, just uh, throwing the shoulder around a little bit, able to lay the boom and pick up a first down. And the Vulcans now inside of East Stroudsburg territory. Seeing the Vulcans utilizing the fullback act, something we wish the Steelers would do ooh, ooh, on Sundays. Oh, I wish they'd do a lot of things. <laughs> that is true. Like win a football game. <laughs> Mitchell in the pistol. Trips on the far side. And, and, and lone receiver on the near. Options into the gun now. Oh, McCann takes the handoff. Has a, a lead blocker. Er, and he's going to follow right behind it. And for a few yards, gain. Ain't of about four, or so it'll be second down and six. A great tackle uh, by East Shores. That was number uh, 52, Fel uh, Feliz, or able to bring seven. him down. And if uh, McCann is able to get him off of him, that's a, that is way more than a three-yard rush. Just uh, had the blocking, had everything going for him on that left side, but just couldn't quite break off that tackle. Under four minutes now, all 3.40 to go Oh, here in the game. Trips on the near side. Mitchell on them just burning some clock. Play clock down to five. Mitchell takes a snap. Hand off to McCann again. McCann breaks free. He, he's rumbling forward. Still pushing forward. Er, er, down the three. On, around, on the east 40-yard line of East Stroudsburg. Er, they're going to mark him at the 42 with 313 well to go. Oh, so it'll be third er, in about three. Yeah, another good rush. By McCann that time able to break off one tackle before powering forward into just a herd of East Strasburg defenders, but gets a nice positive yardage and gives up a third and short now for California to convert. Third and three now oh, with 240 to go. Oh, here in the game. Mitchell oh, fakes the handoff rollout. Oh, finds McConaughey on the near side. McConaughey's going to spin forward. Or it's going to be shot eye of the sticks. The and we can take a look at the replay here. Play action pass once again. Fakes the handoff to McCann. Mitchell, as he's rolling to his left, just able to find McConaughey, but McConaughey unable to break away. Great open field tackle that time by Christian Wiseman of East Strasburg and able to force it about a yard short. And it looks like with that, the Vulcan, uh, the Vulcan punting unit is going to come out here once again. Also, with the, at the all be the final time, I am most likely that we'll see Noah Mitchell, all, all and the Vulcan offense. And, and I just say it's been an honor to watch Mitchell Ole, and Gumpney out there over the years. Yeah, I mean, was it? I think it was 15 seniors here today on the offense and defensive side. Plenty of talent. Looks like it will be a delay of game penalty against California. It'll back him up just a little bit, but like you said, it has been, been an honor to be able to watch uh, a lot of these seniors over the last couple of years play for this team. A bunch of very, very good moments and a, a bunch of great games, and it's been a, a joy to be able to watch these players play. So we'll have to delay a game penalty. That will back the Vulcans up. We'll, start, we'll be at the 45-yard line. Uh, and Rosensteel comes out for the second time today. Two returners back for the Warriors with a minute 48 to go. East Stroudsburg looks like they're going to send the house on this one. And as that one goes between the legs of Rosensteel, and he's just going to fall on it. 
And that will be a turnover on downs. East Stroudsburg will take over from the 35. Just a low snap, and Rosenstiel unable to just scoop it up and very smartly just uh, just fell on top of it. As we take a look uh, at the screen of all the seniors here for the Vulcans. As we see e. McGriff, if, if, uh, Mitchell, Old Brown, also, also, and many other er, Vulcans, and so all that on the uh, graphic here, er, we want to say thank you to you guys for er, all the fun over the years, ers, and good luck to er, your future endeavor, ers, wherever er, that may take you. We have 15 seniors here today for the Vulcans, and I mean, what a what a great game to end it on here. And the uh, and De Laurentiis drops back, and there's going to be a flag. And this one's going to go against East Stroudsburg. And it absolutely is a, a false start. So that'll back, back him up on the false start. Or, or first and 15 now from the 41. Three more seconds to the game clock. And of fans, are, fans are not too <laughs> thrilled about that. Well, I mean, we've seen it time and time again. Um, this is this is why this is why that. <laughs> it's interesting to see. Of how course, they had to get up. one more on Senior Day. One more. Yeah, right now, the clock reads 14.3 seconds. It needs to read 143. This <laughs> needs to shift over to or one digit, and there we go. Yeah. We got it. <laughs> Hear the chairs from the <laughs> fans outside. So De Laurentiis in the pistol. Ole sends a man in motion. Hand off up the middle. Hold to Lewis. Lewis bounces to the outside. I'd wrapped it up. Flag on the play. play as Lewis is driven out. Oh, and there's a flag on the sideline. And there's going to be some um, extracurricular activities going on over there. At, as another flag is tossed. Yeah. I think this one may might be uh, one against either team. One throw in the backfield, potentially a holding call, and I think the one on the far side is going to be a late hit out of bounds against the Vulcans, but looks like both teams exchanging a couple of words on the offense. I mean, it hasn't been the chippiest game. We've seen players uh, kind of jawing at each other, but besides that, it's been great. Now you see Sanogo out there just trying to get everyone hyped. Got to be careful old try not to get another flag top. Lost here. As you hear some of the East Stroudsburg fans and some of the Vulcan fans jawing back and forth out there as well. Yeah, just waiting to officially see what the call is from the referee. Looks like Corboy down there trying to plead his case. Maybe was the flag in the backfield was on him just trying to... Um, uh, trying to uh, figure out what he did wrong, but we're still waiting to see what the referees have to say, or what the call is going to be on this game. And I think what they're trying to do is just try to drag this on as long as possible. During the play, holding offense, number 74. After the play was over, personal foul, defense. Number 39. Both penalties will be enforced. It will be an automatic first down. East Stroudsburg. So it was a penalty against either team, a holding call against number 74, Raymond Christus, for East Stroudsburg, and then a personal foul against California against number 39, Dylan Bennett. And then both penalties will be enforced. It will be a first down for East Stroudsburg, but... Oh, we got a second here. Taking a look at a couple of scores. Edinburgh, oh, oh, breaking away again. And it's Lockhaven, 26 to 13. In Gannon and Shippensburg, deadlocked at 28 right now. Oh, <clears throat> Westchester leads Clarion, 30 to 27. De Laurentiis takes the snap, drops back, act, act, feels the pressure coming, and rolling out near side, lets it fly, nearly picked that off. Once again, and Kevon and Mormon coming after that one. 
Uh, the Vulcan uh, front line able to get a ton of pressure there. Forced De Laurentiis to roll to his left and, and uh, Mormon doing a great job of breaking that up, getting a hand in there and forcing the incomplete pass. Another one to keep a look at is uh, Kutztown and Slippery Rock. Uh, Kutztown up 17-7, still oh, oh in that one. Second and ten now here, here in the pistol. Oh, hand off to Lewis once again, and he's going to rumble forward, gets a few yards down around on the a twenty, or excuse me, the thirty-five of the Vulcan. And as we're down to, on to a minute nineteen, yeah, that time just sent the man in motion. Hand off to Lewis, able to just pick up some yardage on that right-hand side. Picks up about five, so third and five now for East Stroudsburg. De Laurentiis in the pistol. Old, old tight end on the right side and a wing on his left. Hands off to Lewis once again and up the middle. Lewis get, breaks free, spins forward, gets a, another uh, t broken tackle. Old spun forward down on the, on the Vulcan 20. An impressive run by Lewis. Noah Silva for the Vulcans got back there immediately and almost brought him down for a loss, but able to break that one off. And then Lewis, as he got to the second level, spun off and able to pick up the first down yardage. 43 seconds to go here in the game. And no, and no play action and for or East Stroudsburg Erg, and it's gonna be enough for a first down as De Laurent is finds a man on the far side and steps out of bounds with 26.9 to go here. Yeah, a play action pass able to find a Clifford Brinkley. Another fantastic name and <laughs> showed off the stiff arm a little bit. Looks like they're going to mark him just short of that first down marker, though. So second down and one, and with 26.9, and East Stroudsburg trying to get one more score before the end of the game here. De Laurentiis hands it off to Lewis. Lewis is going to be met in the backfield by a swarm of Vulcan, and it's for a loss of two. Lewis, the ball carrier, lost on the play. Hutchinson on the stop. As John Hutchinson comes in on that one, it looks like they're East Stroudsburg's just going to let this one run out. Oh, as we get down to five, four, three, and eight, two, and one, and that's going to do it for Oaks. Your final score here on Senior Day, a California uh, with another er, winning season in 31 to seven, and your final score. Er, er, John, uh, and it's been a fun season, man. I've appreciated doing all the, these games with you. Who, and it's been an honor. Yeah, it's been amazing, and maybe it's not the season the team would have wanted, but, I mean, I've had a ton of fun, especially able to call some games with you. Glad that I was able to get your last football game here as a student for the Vulcans, and it's going to be an honor, and I'm, I'm sure you and, and Tom are going to do great things here. And uh, I appreciate getting to do one of these one, uh, these every year. Or it's going to be odd not doing it next year. Or, but... Uh, well, for that, uh, and, for, and, and once again, your final score, the Vulcans win 31-7. to And for our producer, Gary Smith and Tom Caton, and my, my co-host, Jonathan Sate, I'm John Sakaguchi. We'll see you next year, folks. Good night, California. Take care.